come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It's a movie review podcast that comes at you every Saturday night in our quest for global domination. You can find us everywhere that fine podcasts are found. And bad ones. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, yeah, ones, there's a lot of yeah. shit ones out there. Yeah, yeah, I hope we're not one of them. Podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hopefully you don't listen to us on double speed. Uh, yeah. It's okay if you do. Oh, no. but, uh, wonder you know. what we sound like. I mean, oh, no. as long as you're listening, you know, whatever. Do you? Uh, wherever <laughs> you right. found us, I would hope that you do us a solid and actually go and give us a review. Hit that like button. Be a mensch. Give us a star rating. Or possibly, well, I already said, give us a review. All this stuff kind of, and subscribe, definitely. All this stuff helps us get found by other people who like the same kind of stuff that you do. So join the Freak Show family. We like you. Thanks for listening. So who are these internet radio superstars? (laughs) Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight, we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean. I didn't get yelled at. Sean, what are we watching there? We watched uh, 1986's The Wraith, the Wraith. starring the Charles Wraith. Sheen. The Wraith. The Wraith. The Wraith. The Wraith. <laughs> That's what it should sound like in this <laughs> movie. Yeah. Uh, who you directed? just went to Final Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was very 80s. I mean, it, right? it would work. <laughs> it would. It would work. Right? Like it would work. Because I'm sure that song is, came out in 1986. All the people he has to kill. He is their oh final count. Yes. Uh-huh. That would have made this movie so awesome. Yeah. It's too bad. I don't think the final countdown was in an 80s movie. It was in the final countdown. The movie. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. That yes. one. The, the one where the 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 ship goes back in time. Mm-hmm. No. It's in the credits. Oh, no. Oh, this movie. Ooh. I am going to put money down on that one. Oh, all right. Because I think it was that predated down. it. Oh, yeah. He literally threw money down. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like a dollar bill, so he didn't hear it. Yeah. Um, okay, so who uh, who was the person responsible for this film? Uh, the director was a man named Mike Marvin. And you just looked up, like, all the other stuff that he directed. <laughs> well, he's scrolling d- forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, forever. <laughs> uh, with such notable hits as Hamburger, the movie. Oh shit! What, really? really? The rip off of Hot Dog, the motion he wrote picture. Hot no, no. Dog, the movie. <laughs> hot Dog. It's Hot Dog, the movie, and Hamburger, the motion picture. Yes. Yeah. He directed okay. One wrote the other. <laughs> Get wow. the fuck out. Kid wow. you not. Okay. Well, good for him. Oh yeah. You know? What is these? What are these movies about? Yeah, Sex I'm... comedies from <laughs> which I think uh, Hot Dog stars uh, the guy from American Werewolf in London, David Naughton. Okay. Oh, who was okay. a Pepper before that? Or Dr. They, Pepper. Are right? these I like? Dr. I thought you were still going on the food. <laughs> I think they're thing. like Porky's like too. type. Oh, yeah. Are, are they're not like animation or anything. Because I'm, no. I'm, I'm picturing, I'm picturing the Van Halen hamburger scene from Better Off Dead is what I'm pic- picturing. I never saw Hamburger in the movie. Hot Dog in the movie is about skiing. It's like ski instructors and ski bunnies. That's better off dead. It's also a hot dog movie. Yeah. The whole movie about skiing, there's like a fucking hamburger and a Van Halen sequence. It's awesome. I love that (laughs) That movie. Sounds great. I love that movie. I would just never offhand see a movie called Hot Dog or Hamburger. God damn it. The 80s were so much fun. So much better. You could get any movie greenlit in the 80s, apparently, man. (laughs) Apparently so. I mean, that's the thing about this movie. It holds a feature, it's slathered. In a feature that we used to refer to as the 80s stank. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if that's appropriate. Good Lord, yes. <laughs> I feel like it is. This is the most 80s movie that we've watched on this show in quite some time. Quite some yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. What, yep. what, what do we like, mean like by shit that? 80s. The soundtrack, first of all. The soundtrack. I mean, no, it's fashion. everything. It's the it's the fucking first two seconds, the title sequence. Like it's the title from Chrome. It's, oh, fucking, oh my god! Was, it's it's so good. sharp and chrome and shiny, and then it's very just pointy. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very pointy. Yeah, very pointy. Very pointy. <laughs> and then right into that eighties music. Oh god! Just from it's the like 80, second 80s it starts. Rock guitar. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's lots of shots of driving set to eighties rock guitar. Yeah. Well, it fashion. has that ballads. There's Ballad that uh, the first couple seconds have that like pan down from the stars because mm-hmm. a starscape also 
hallmark of the 1980s. Mm-hmm. Very much pan so. down into the desert, but it's got that kind of, the sky has that blue 80s Spielbergian yeah, tint does. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that perfect gradient, yeah. 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 And I'm like, what the That's hell so were pretty. they all using that and made that, um, that perfect gradient? The, uh, Cocaine, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, the devil's... Uh, and the mountain, the tower, yeah, the, the, tower. Tower. the tower. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. isn't that in, like the beginning? I didn't see it, but that's. I'm I pretty mean, sure. I think it, you're just thinking of like the because of the sequence that happened at the beginning of this movie is very reminiscent. I mean, of, it might, no, yeah, it might not be. It, the third it might not be that, but there's a shot of something like that. Sure. It's, it's, it's reminiscent. Crested mute. Yeah. yeah, it's ju- yeah. Or I'm crested beauty. A crested beauty. Yeah, not crusted, crested. <laughs> crested. I mean, it's beauty. the desert, so it's crusty. Yeah, yeah whatever. We're in Arizona, we know because of all of the. Uh, uh, it's no Dick Towers from your uh, Hunter from the Future. No, but it no, is. I wish <laughs> definitely know your Dick Towers. I yeah. feel so left out every time you talk about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, have you got to watch it. it? Yeah. You got it. You got it. We. I all... haven't. I haven't watched it yet, but we all bought it. A movie's yeah. so good, we all bought it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we we actually like Amazon saw a giant spike in their orders of this movie yeah. in one day because we literally all ordered it. Yeah, yeah we did. We're just like, what, 30th, 35th anniversary Blu-ray for $8? Yeah, I'm trusting yeah. you Sold. guys. I'm trusting you guys. Do you think they're going to be like, oh my God, our like, sales are like way up. Should yeah. we like do a sequel? Like, what are they yeah. like? Oh, like yours yeah. is a really good seller for yeah. us. What the hell? All yeah. right. So if that happens, it's because of the it's, Saturday Night yeah, exactly. Show. Right? Yeah. We're doing things. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right, Mill Creek. Sponsorships. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the 80s, uh, the 80s, uh, uh, Pantina? What do we call this? The, the not patina, the stain. Yeah, the patina. The patina. Uh, it, it, it radiates down into the hairdos. Oh, uh, the fashion. Hairdos, the fashion. I the, could write a book is, just on the oh, fashion. In this the leather yeah. with no shirts, the necklaces, yeah. the gloves. The color. The hair. Just the tall hair. Or the multicolored hair. Yeah, the spiky yeah. hair. The, the fringe. The fringe. So much fringe. Oh. The, fringe yep. the fringe is everywhere. Just yeah. not even like... I'm not going to say cool leather fringe because I don't. The fringe is not cool. I'm sorry, yeah. anybody who still likes fringe, yeah. but just like bright blue, powder blue fringe on shit. Okay. Mm. In the I'm, '80s and early '90s, fringe was cool. you put fringe on everything. Fringe there was, was cool. I'm, if we look closer, I'm pretty sure some of those cowboy boots just had fringe on them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it since. Uh, uh, Dumb and Dumber with his fringe. Oh, that jacket. Yeah. I love that Well, jacket. there was like everybody, I think that like came out of, uh, in. The, it seems like in the 60s and 70s, like the hippie era, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody appropriated like this Indian uh, yeah. you know, like mm-hmm. leather with the fringe yeah. and then that kind of in the 80s, they were like, hey, what if we go with the cool yeah. black leather with <laughs> also with the fringe? I, I remember know. when I was a kid, it was the cool uh, thing yeah. to like fringe your t-shirt and put beads on it. Do you, do you remember this? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. You'd like you'd cut your you'd own, cut it, you'd yeah. cut it in little strips that. and like put beads on and make your own fringe. Like that was like the cool thing to <sighs> not, do. Not, I don't think guys did it. I don't even remember I seeing it. Remember. But hey, I'm sure hey, it was the, all the bad over fashion the place. in this movie knows no gender. Right. So that's very you know. true. <laughs> it's true. That's Belly shirts true. and trench coats. Yeah, yeah, right. all around. Yeah. yeah, what the guy, uh, the one of the street tufts, which I have a lot of notes on the street tufts. When we get to that point, Lord, shall we name the street tufts? Yeah, the hooligans. They're Skank, uh, Gutter Boy, Augie, Rughead, and Minty. Mm-hmm. Led by Packard. Packard. Packard yeah. Walsh. The whitest name. Yeah. They're like <laughs> for preppy street whitest. Ever. Yeah. yeah. Whiter than his pants that he wore in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like his parents belong to a country club. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, He's yeah. definitely a rich kid acting out, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. A rich so um, like so much so that he became a sociopath. He's a Patrick parents, Bateman but character. But yeah. I am not yeah. convinced that anybody so in this movie actually has parents. I there think, are no parents in this movie, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure uh Nick Cassavetes is old enough to be a parent in this movie. Oh, he lo- he's yeah. straight up. Years, that's like, probably yeah, how he met. That's man. probably how he met Carrie. His daughter went to school with her. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh right? He was dropping her off at school. Yeah, one day, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh like how God. does how long do, does he live this lifestyle? <laughs> like how far yeah. does he keep going? Yeah. Like if yeah. he just if he never runs into the wraith. What's his like, lifestyle? What is? I mean, it's it's uh, it's racing, Colin. He's a street cop. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's racing and uh-huh. building just it's sweet sweet cars. Bullying people out of their li- slips. He yeah. lives at the uh, the garage, right? Like, yeah, he has to, right? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the back house and, yeah. and he's in the yeah. back. And, yeah. like, that's where he lives, right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think. And yeah. he would live that way forever. Yeah. I will say the cool thing about this movie, one of the coolest things is that like it is a quote unquote teen movie. Uh, but like with almost, no teens. But well, I was gonna say. Well, I'm assuming that just because I, I mean, we're not really given any context that they're teens or anything. Because, but nothing happens at school. Like it's, it's a summer. I bet it's, it's the summer. All, it, yeah, I guess. That yeah, that's why, yeah, they, have all summer, the that's why they have summer. That's why they have summer jobs. Right, right, right. And right, they go to yeah. the fucking but I like swimming that. hole. 
I like that it's not at the school for once. You know, it's somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, it's nice. That's well, so it's also very like. Bird. But then that's what makes them feel older, I suppose. Yeah, in oh, some yeah. Way. It's like, yeah, no, that's fucking high school. That's movie? the thing. You, like, that you, kid with the car, man. You There's can't really like there. determine their age. It's no. very like, are no. they college? Are they? Are they it's, yeah, it's very well, odd. These are some dead end kids. Then is what we're saying. It's like oh, nobody definitely. has anything to do in this town except for hang out at the local burger joint, which is a dr- little drive in, which is kind of cool. Has that kind of Arizona. Whatever it's got, cowboys, Adobe Indians, and design. like some yeah. type of uh, yeah. It looks it's like the drive in from Back to the Future Three. Yeah, pretty much. With yeah. The Indians painted yeah. on shit yeah. and the bright colors. Yeah, and it's it's basically Michael J. Fox's outfit at the beginning of that movie mm-hmm. is the paint pattern for this drive in. Yeah, yeah. The bright. Yeah, I think there's somebody blue. actually wearing that uh, shirt mm-hmm. at some point. Again, fringe. <laughs> Here, fringe. Here's what this movie confuses me though, because it's been so 80s for the most part. Up until this point, but there are certain things here and there that I'm like, are, are we sure this is the 80s and not like the 1950s or like a futuristic oh, yeah. 50s style? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the the burger shop is a drive-in burger shop with like the waitresses on roller skates, yeah, and then you know they're racing for pink slips and like they kind of have like a greaser vibe about their gang. Well, I mean, I guess I should say the street toughs each have individual personas. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Completely different ones, but some of them have like a greaser vibe. And like, there are certain points in this movie where I'm like, is it the 80s though? Like the music is, and the fashion is telling me it's the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But other things are telling me it's the, could be the 50s. (laughs) Right, Fonzie's about to show up. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. But this is the thing, as I'm deep diving into these movies and re-watching a bunch of 80s movies, it seems like, I mean, I guess... Like the eighties are super heavily influenced by the fifties in that yeah. way, where it seems like uh, as these kids grew up in the fifties, they end up becoming directors in the eighties, and so yep. they're incorporating all. Like this yeah. is the movie that I would have loved to have seen yeah. when I was twelve, and now we actually have like Spielbergian technology. Are you thinking like American Graffiti? And shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 That's true. And and like it's not as heavy handed with the fifties influence as some other movies, but it, it just pops but just up. Just the idea. Yeah, yeah, but it just pops up in places that it feels really out of place. You know, like the the roll I could not get over the roller skate drive in because like uh, that was awesome. Like was, I mean it was it was awesome. I love it. But I'm just like in the eighties, was that really like a happening place to be? Like Yeah, well, especially in like in a small town it would have been because there's still places Colin? like that. There's still places like that. I would have felt like us? it would have been like a bowling alley. Or is this alley. the drug era? Kind yeah, of, here you know? it would have been a bowling alley, yeah. probably. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Let's yeah. bowl some balls. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I remember drive-in <laughs> restaurants. I mean, now you have Sonic, obviously, where, that's you know, true. nationwide, and they do, everybody's on roller skates. Yeah. I don't remember, like, as a kid going to a drive-in when they were on roller skates. But they're still, like, drive or those little drive-in, we're talking about right. the restaurants. Yeah. But those are playing on that nostalgia, though. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. There's a couple, there was one in town that just closed down a couple years ago that like had been around since I think that era. Yeah. I mean, we still have, we still have like, <clears throat> no, that one closed down. We, was, still, uh, we, still have Bings? B- we still have Bings. Are they still open? That's still open, dude. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Bings. Bings. Um, Bing. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I don't, I don't know where Those I want to go first here with this, <laughs> because I do want to talk about the soundtrack to this movie, which is a huge selling point, mm-hmm. I think, uh, for the probably the producers and for the audience, because yeah. this is mentioned on the posters. We've got the Scotty Brothers uh, record label, mm-hmm. like, you know, providing all the artists. So who's on this amazing soundtrack album? Ozzy Osbourne. Billy, Billy Idol. Idol. Motley Crue. Uh, Robert, Palmer. Robert Palmer. Oh yeah. 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 Wasn't it Bonnie Raitt in there somewhere? Uh, Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie, Bonnie Tyler. Tyler. Bonnie Raitt. Right, sorry. sorry. Right. 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 One, uh, Excuse you, yeah. Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler. Thank uh, you very much. Ian Hunter. Lion. Lion the band Lion. that's like the movie soundtrack. Yeah, band. they had like four songs in this movie. Stan lie, Bush yeah. is a from. Uh, what did he do? Like he did like Rocky. There, what didn't he do? Like the song and fucking Dead Heat wasn't Dead Heat like Dead, Dead Heat? And uh, you got the touch. You know, oh. <laughs> that's Stan Bush. Yeah, yeah, Stan yeah. Bush. So but this is cool. like a. I mean, like the, the collection of artists, right? Like Ozzy Osbourne was hot at this point in time, uh, right? Thunder mm-hmm. in your heart. From uh, that's just Stan Bush. That's just Stan Bush. Oh, he did. He did the the heart versus head. In this, in this one, yes. yeah, he did like a shitload of he fight for love and kickboxer. Uh huh. Oh, kickboxer! Oh, he's he's, got he's in blood sport, right? Oh, is he in blood sport? He, was he a cannon regular employee? <laughs> he was just in all these fucking yeah. eight, like he's probably in Cobra. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably. That did have a good soundtrack. Cobra did, so. Maybe How'd the did. soundtrack from the Wraith stack up? One of the best ever. I yeah. liked it. Of all time. Dude. Yeah. Of yeah. all time. It was Michaela's all time. rushing out yeah. to buy this tomorrow. Oh, Mondo, if you're listening, <laughs> I hope you are. Please, like tomorrow. We're going to find out this exists somewhere. <laughs> yeah. We did this with the no. My Bloody Valentine. No, if it like, does it exist, exists. if it, listener, if it exists, please link me to it. I will buy it right now. <laughs> but it better, it better have that dope, like, title card on the front. The, that would that be nice. amazing logo type. You know, it better have that on the front. It'd be this. better if it was one of those hologram vinyls where the Wraith was oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. up on it. Wraith. Wraith. But this movie had some awesome. <laughs> Some marketing materials because I remember the poster alone was like I don't know it's that cool like eighties purple like everybody now is trying to do this like purple. Uh, the eighties purple and pink I think this was the like neon, primarily yeah. like the neon blue purple thing but it was just yeah, wasn't a there a cool drive poster that had that on co- that? poster all yeah. of, uh, drive everything is purple yeah, yeah. blue yeah, pink neon. maniac remember when they did yeah. Like yeah. A lot of oh them. yeah mm-hmm. there. I'm sure a wolf cop one had that on there at some point <laughs> guarantee it. Did another wolf cop ever come out? I don't know. I was just thinking about that today. Like, did that come out? I don't know. Um, But yeah, it had like, uh, it was, so I had really cool artwork. It had, uh, you know, really cool title, uh, which you didn't know what the word was. And to probably Uh, go look that up. Unless you were Clint Howard. Yeah. He knew what it was. I wonder if, I didn't watch the trailer prior to tonight. I wonder if there's like, that line is in the trailer. This oh, wraith is coming to get us. Oh, what? Guaranteed. It's a ghost, man. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. To explain it's what the hell it was. Sure. Guaranteed. And it had this awesome soundtrack album, which probably had the, you know, the um, poster art on it. I remember many stills. That's still at the very very beginning of the movie where the car shows up and the dude's standing outside of it and is, well, we should talk about who it, but that shot is mm-hmm. like a promotional image. I mean, should we talk about the fact that Colin is now fired from talking during movies? Because yeah, Colin's Mr. Like, I saw this thirty Mr. years ago. Mr. I saw it thirty years ago. I don't remember anything, and then told us everything that happened two seconds before it happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good guess. That's what it I was re- not a guess, Colin. I, that's a memory. I don't actually. It, you don't remember remembering. You're just it, having though, recovered. Right. Rem- yeah, recovered I guess. Memories it's like, during. It'd be cool if this happened, <laughs> and then it did. So this is like the best movie you've ever seen. It's like, be cool if this happened and then it comes true. <laughs> uh, Why? Yeah. I'm sorry if I ruined it. It wasn't uh, anything at all to do with uh, Sean just telling you right off the bat, like what was actually going on in the movie that might have like, you know. I did nothing wrong here. Uh-huh. No, Sean was not at all distracting well, to me. fucking said right off because I was like, you know, whoa, 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 spoiler there. We don't know where this movie's going. And Sean's like just saying. Well, I can't tell the poor listener because they're going to oh, go on this uh, journey with us if they fine. haven't seen the wraith. The wraith. The wraith. The... <laughs> <laughs> Spies. <laughs> we also have to talk about, I think, the elephant in the room, right? Oh, Which geez. is a movie called The Crow. Uh, uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Don't They're know. so stylistically you could, you could just different. Go different. Like, Are you don't they? have to. Yeah. Stylistically, yes. I think they okay, are. Okay, so there's a flashback scene in this, which is red as hell. And I mean, like, when it was happening, as soon as the red light came on, I'm like, Jesus, did they fucking just rip this right the hell off for the crow? No. <laughs> I don't oh, think no. so. That's, I'm, I'm, You're yeah, saying no, but basically, we see a a man and his girlfriend get accosted by a group of uh, uh, gangsters, right? Mm-hmm. Bust in on a room that's all lit red, and they kill this guy right in front of her. It's very true. Mm-hmm. There are a yeah, lot of similarities true. in those points. Mm-hmm. There are two characters, or a character in each movie, named Skank. Hmm. Skank, that's not Skank. Skank's over there. Skank's dead. Right? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> that was my best shot. <laughs> that was pretty good. Maybe right? Uh, all of the gangsters... Are have like goofy names. They're not like true. except for Patrick. What the fuck, Patrick Walsh? What was his name? Packard. Packard, Packard Walsh. Packard. I for will forever think of The Office. I, yeah, uh, I was thinking Todd Packard. Yeah. Todd yeah. Packard. Yeah. <laughs> and ultimately, the movie spoiler is about a guy returning from the grave to get revenge on the people who killed him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, yeah. Yep, okay, all right, only, so I'm okay, just throwing yeah, that out there. Then maybe J- o- James O'Barr saw The Wraith and thought that was fucking awesome and then, you know, figured out uh, a better way it, to do it. It's quite possible. Not a better way to do it, but just taking those influences and be like, I like what he did there. Let's let's do that. Expand upon it, I would think The Crow I, did. I think The Crow executed it better, I think, than this movie did. But like, for mm-hmm. very specific reasons, yeah. I think, toward the end of the with the plotting, it's like, uh, yeah. this isn't checking out. 
but the crow figured out a way to actually yeah, get exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This movie's third act is pretty weak. Yeah, Same. for sure. Yeah. Which is weird because the first two acts were fucking strong as hell, I thought. Like, the first act especially. Like, this movie starts with a fucking bang. It's weird. That Literally. This feels, Literally, it does. yeah. This feels like a... Le- a legit movie? I don't know if you if you're if you're used to the movies we watch down here. Oh yeah, that makes sense to you. This feels like a, this is, this it feels like a legit acts. '80s movie, and I'm I was I was uh, I did not expect that. I was yeah. just like, huh, okay. I can can I enjoy oh. this? It's just a legitimate movie, <laughs> you're, and not some trash that is just like it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're thrown off because it had a three act structure. It, because you know, we don't yeah, usually like, watch like movies with a, There was a point. <laughs> I was like, I, uh, you know, the there was a climax, and then yeah, you know, and this and, happens, yeah, and yeah. yeah, as you know, maybe as underwhelming as that third act might have been, yeah. it still had it. Still it. had one. It still yeah. went through it and all that stuff. That's very true. I was very surprised. Mm-hmm. I feel like they just. I feel like the the problem with this movie is that they just didn't say enough as. They didn't lay it out enough in the third act as they should have. Whereas, like, other movies we watch, they just tell you the wrong information. <laughs> they tell you yeah. things you don't need to know. Whereas this one, like, gave you everything you need to know, but it just didn't explain it well enough or forward enough. It expected right. you to, Whereas, like, put a lot of things together. Right. Well, as every other movie we watch is them. Uh, there's a ten-minute scene where they're just talking to us mm-hmm. and telling mm-hmm. us everything that's mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. in a ridiculous fashion. I do appreciate that delivery. this movie expects its in, its audience to just, like have some level of intelligence to figure it out on your own. I, I respect yeah. that about this I mean, movie. I mean, yeah. again, it's surprising. I do too. Like, even some things were, I mean, we're, I'm going to say right to the end where he's just like, well, who are you, bro? It's like, you said it, Billy. And then he fucking walks out and just like, yeah. Yeah. This? yeah. <laughs> I was shocked they did that. I was just... Letting you put it together. I fall for it every... I've seen this movie twice now, but both times I, f- I fall for it at the very beginning. I fall for the the, the what we want is pink line. Every time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're going to rape his girlfriend. And then Aww. they know they want his pink slip. And mm. so I fall for that every time. <laughs> and that's, that's a pretty well-written scene, It actually. is, because the trashy movie we would have watched would either have gone for that yeah. or been like, whoa, 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 we're talking about pink slips here, buddy. What do you think? We're kind of some kind of hooligans <laughs> here? Uh, uh, like, they would have gone that direction. Yeah, <laughs> Played it straight. Yeah. Right. Either or. It's yeah. like, hold up, buddy. We're just going for the cars here. Yeah. Jesus. I want to know how this enterprise, I don't know, like, can continually uh, sustain cars? itself. Well, because. They're the Fast the, and the Furious of this area of Arizona, clearly. Yeah. Take it right. They're a gang. So go out. They, they pull people over and then they race them for the the ownership of their car, mm-hmm. right? So it's like. They force you into they racing. They force them to car. race, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. They force you to race it. And then they're like, well, legally we got the car now because we like had a handshake. It's like or legally. Some shit. Yeah, you're like, what are you talking about? They just stole that guy's car. You can't go to the cops and right, go to the cops and be like, they, they have my car. I currently still have the le- the title for it, at least the title for it. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, get it back. Yeah, and then they uh, when they went to the the drive-in like the next day, and they're looking at uh, well, this would be the the brother Billy? of the yeah Billy. I was trying to like figure out like how to explain who he was, but yeah. So this Billy character, mm-hmm. they come to him and they're like, "Whoa, what's your car? What do you think your car is worth?" We should. I'm like, "Don't they live in this town? Haven't they seen this guy's car?" Like, seems like a pretty small town. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There are thirty kids. Yeah. And I use that and they're term all the liberally. <laughs> kids. Uh huh. Kids. You mean like. Anywhere between age eighteen and forty. Yeah. yeah. So there's yeah. like thirty cars in this margin. town at the at the max. So like after a month, like this what is these what guys an eighty do? year old would call a kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a short. That's it. Business. <laughs> right. Yeah, you run out of options real quick. You just yeah. gotta start pulling over people who drive through the town. Yeah. I have, a, I have a suggestion for the street toughs and their business enterprise because I thought this was gonna happen. And it never did. So they have like okay. So the street toughs have like five different personas, right? Yeah. But they. And, like, they use their nerdy guy as, like, the flag girl to start the race every time, which yeah. I still don't understand. Which is Clint really Howard. don't. Oh. Clint yeah, Howard. Clint yeah. Howard. Yeah, like, right. you got some prettier dudes in there. <laughs> well, <laughs> here, why not have a woman to lure... Well, okay, instead of, like, running people off the road and forcing the race, why not have a woman on the side of the road, stranded, pick it, like a hitchhiker to pick yeah. up people? She's the bait. Yeah. Then you come in. Then you hijack them, take their car, whatever. And then she can be the flag girl because if you want Because no women want to actually hang out with them. I it's think very that's true. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah, because like, like, they're all forced to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the writer's point of view, it's like, why wouldn't you put a woman in that yeah. group? But I think at that time, they're thinking like these guys are just reprehensible. You know, yeah. the only way that they can, well, the only. But Packard has a girlfriend. But he's the only one who has a <laughs> yeah. girlfriend. For, well, for, well, 
Quote oh, Carrie? Let me figure it out. Oh, well, the other one, the blonde one. She doesn't one as well. want to. But, it, but even the blonde one, the, the sheriff was like, Are you okay? And you could tell by her face, She's like, like yeah. she didn't really want to be there. Yeah. yeah. She felt like she had to be there. Yeah. They, he hit, it's just showing his power over these people. Yeah. None of them want Why to be Why does he run this town, though? Would you want Why? to hang out with I don't know. a guy who's got hair that tall? <laughs> Who, I'm freaked head? out. Yeah. <laughs> Who, 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 head? Yeah. Five foot tall hair. Yeah. I mean, me. no. You know, what, I don't, you know what's weird? Yeah. It's like after when I saw this movie tonight, I'm like, oh, it was one of those sense memories. I'm like, this is how I have always seen in my mind. Clint Howard. Mm -hmm. When you say the name Clint Howard, I see him looking like this. It was like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, I don't understand this character. I guess so. Maybe you can. I mean, I get that he. Uh, this is the Nick Cassavetes oh, uh, Packard Packard Walsh character, yeah. the leader of the gang of miscreants. Yep. Uh, that every scene, he's like he. This man has a one track mind. It is. Yeah. I own this girl, mm -hmm. which is the Sherilyn Fenn character, yep. mm -hmm. and anyone who comes around her, I want dead, or I'm going to mm -hmm. screw with them, yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love cars. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's love a man. Of, he's a man of simple tastes, Colin. Mm -hmm. Two Apparently things: so. women and cars. <laughs> he has a subscription to Women and Cars Quarterly. It just doesn't I'll seem bet. like it's <laughs> like what does he do like in between the scenes that we see in this movie? Works on his car. <laughs> he doesn't though, because we saw that. Everyone he has else everybody else. He comes in and checks on him, and like, hey, hey, how's it going? Don't drink that stuff there. Uh, you know, there was one he's when he's walking through the thing, and he's just like, yep. all right, yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> what are you doing, like, dude? Does he, does he Your persona know these is people? going away right now. <laughs> Have when these people ever met before? When he's not in his car or with his his prisoner girl in his car he's either walking around watching his friends work on his car or he's stalking his prisoner girl yeah that's, that's all he all does all he does I'm trying to eat a burger <laughs> <laughs> we should mention too the instant Packard came on the scene in the movie Holly and I had the same reaction you see him wearing like a leather jacket and a puka shell puka necklace shell. and that puka shell we immediately were like he's the bad guy yep. you cannot, like, <laughs> you cannot fucking shell. trust Knew someone it. in a puka shell necklace no. <laughs> you can't no. you cannot trust them Nope. Take mm -mm. notes out nope. there, you listeners. We as no a people shell. have identified yeah. that as like nothing puka good shell. comes from no. that dude yeah. who's yeah. wearing the puka shell. Big red flag. Yeah, yeah. he might Always. as well have had an Ed That's Hardy because shirt everyone on who's too. ever written any of these things got beat up by a dude wearing puka shells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Putting it in everything, they're just yep. like mm -hmm. automatic identifier of the bad. Guy. And that that fucking puka shell necklace that carried over like twenty years because it was still like in the oh, early two yeah. thousands. <laughs> oh yeah, the OC like was a big one. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're fucking popped collar like polo shirts. Yeah, yeah. Popped collars and puka shells. <laughs> it is a douchebag dog Life collar that Beach. transcends it generations. Is. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's just the dog collar for douchebags, man. Shots, it, but it, man. it transcends generations. It right? Just... Why? Why is he not wearing like is it dog collar shit? Yeah, like, it's something with spikes or anything. Yeah. Intimidating. Why is he like, the, the Tucson version of this whole thing? Yeah, he is yeah, right. shells. And well, they do. I, I guess they have the representative of the punk. Uh, you know, that's. Um, Skank. Skank. Skunk, skank, skank, skank. Oh no, they all I, they all have different. All right, personas. nobody, uh, nobody say the names anymore. I want Colin to figure this the out. Now <laughs> on skank, I should know, right? Skank. But skank, skank, the one who's like, skunk, that, that shit's got kick, man, because he's like his character defining character uh, trait is that he drinks hydraulic fluid. Well, I, at one point I thought he was drinking transmission fluid because it yeah. was red. He might have switched off. And then, the and then at one yeah, point did. he's snorting WD-40. <laughs> that was when it finally... You went to the bathroom, yeah. yeah. It went oh, right off the on? rails there. He's like, oh, yeah. I need a little... Oh, oh it's just got a kick. And that's the point that when I was like, kick. the person who wrote this has never met a person. <laughs> they, they, of like, any kind. They've also <laughs> never done any drugs in their life. Any. Apparently. No. You know? He's like Harlan Williams from fucking uh, uh, Dumb and Dumber. He's just like... Yeah. And after he drinks yeah. the it's like... Get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. All right, so I'm going to put it on the table right now. Mm. Prove me wrong. I think the guy who wrote this screenplay was like 13. I wouldn't argue um, with that, yes. Colin. <laughs> I think you're right. No, and you know what? And he got beat no, up by a guy in a puka no, shell necklace. I think he was 33 with problems. No. 33, li like, writing as a 13-year-old version of himself. <laughs> you know what? He's 40. And Packard is him. He wrote himself into that. <laughs> yeah, well, I would is. not be surprised if, <laughs> that's it. It if Packard wrote this himself. Yeah. So I'm going to be in charge of everything. I'm going to have cool cars. I'm going to have women who don't leave me. I'm going to cut my hand I'm open have... in front of my girl and she's going to love it. <laughs> and you know, everywhere. And you know oh, how they're going to know I'm cool? My puka shell necklace. And white pants. <laughs> yeah. Why? White pants. Uh, why were you like, you were like, yeah, that movie with Nick Cassavetes. And I'm like, Nick Cassavetes, the son of John Cassavetes? Yep. What's the fucking deal with Nick Cassavetes? 
Oh, uh, well, I mean, like now? Yeah, what's he going to do? I mean, he's, uh, he went on to, uh, he's an actor. He, he was I, in Face Off. He was in Face Off. Um, but he's also uh, a director. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he's, he's um, Gina Gershon's brother mm-hmm. in Face Off. He's the bald guy. Gets shot in the neck at one point. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Uh, but he's also a director, and he's directed some movies that we probably all know very well. Mm-hmm. And uh, some women, I'm going to say women because I don't watch The Notebook, and I think it's more of a female movie than most of the things, but... Uh, he directed he, The Notebook? He directed The Notebook. Oh, damn. Oh, really? okay. He did. Hold wow. on. He directed this. He could show. probably retire on that alone, honestly. Yeah, like probably That's probably could. enough for him to stop working. He also he, directed John Q. Okay. The Denzel Washington movie? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. I lost him. Hold on. Nick. Well, his dad, John Cassavetes, was in The Dirty Dozen, yeah. Rosemary's Baby, and uh, The Fury, right? And he mm-hmm. became like, I think he was like, a. they knew him as a temperamental di- uh, actor, mm-hmm. and he became a director. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I know him from. <laughs> oh, Alpha Dog. He wrote and directed Ooh. Alpha Dog. Really? Yes, he oh, did. Oh, God, that movie. I like that movie. I okay. like it too, but it hurt but me in a way I don't ever hurt, need to watch it, it again. Oh, Especially it knowing it's a true story, I don't ever need to watch it And that also, movie. like, whenever, what happens to An- Anton Yelchin in that movie? Oh, yeah. I'm just like, uh, I don't know if I go back and watch yeah, it. Yeah, and it, yeah, considering where we're at now in the lifespan of Anton Yelchin, yes. we don't need to revisit that movie, I don't uh, think. I've not he, seen it, uh, but I've consulted Michaela and she agreed that I don't need to don't, watch don't, it. Don't watch it. it <laughs> just just, just take our word for it. it. It's a good you movie. Could, you, you know? Yeah, you can watch it. Um, well, I'm kind the of other a... women, the other woman that had, uh, like, Cameron Diaz. Does it have... My Sister's Keeper. Oh, okay. The My Sister's Keeper. Yeah, yeah he does a lot is, of those really mom? sad oh, movies. Oh, yeah, My Sister's Keeper. Yeah. Oh, my God, Sean. Yeah. Well, I know because it's got it's got uh, Abigail Breslin and Cameron Diaz. I just happen to know the movie. He we, does a lot of you like, were just really like, oh my depressing. god, he did that uh, movie. He does. <laughs> He's got yeah. a soft side. Yeah. He turned out to actually have like a decent career. I'm actually kind of impressed then. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's got a bunch right. of upcoming You're stuff. You're not just so riding on the uh, family name. He's just oh. not He's not just riding on the Wraith. <laughs> yeah. Coming yeah. in. Yeah. And Alpha Dog is a very good movie. And it's it actually is. a really good like crime thriller drama with some lighthearted moments. But it's just well, a very most, hard movie very, to watch. It mm. is. And it's very, yeah, it gets to a point. Especially knowing it's a true story. And that, like it, and, like, the, it is an honest telling of that true story, too. Mm-hmm. It's hard to watch. Mm. All right, so we've talked all around the actual. Well, you got to, the personalities of the the gang. Yeah, mm, rugged. Uh, so we got Skank. He's the like typical like crust punk from like every eighties. Every punk. every like eighties street like tough term. you've crust ever punk. seen. Yeah. yeah, like every eighties street tough. You know, yeah. and like eighties street toughs, they're always like caricatures of actual people. Exactly, like, and they always yeah. have like one defining trait. You know, mm-hmm. like Skank, like is constantly drinking some fluid. They always have and one changing defining, his hair color. Yeah, yeah. He's got his buddy. His um, they usually growl and like slobber a lot. That's like their thing, you know. Well, like, he has his buddy his does, does, but yeah. he does the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does the earnest yeah. laugh. That's yeah, what it he is. Does. God damn it! A gutter boy is basically uh, Pigpen from Peanuts. He's dirty mm-hmm. and mentally he challenged. Talks like this. Yeah, yeah. Pig, like, oh, I don't like it. Don't do Pigpen that way. Pigpen was smart. <laughs> <laughs> but, this was kid, dirty. but this kid literally does have the dirt cloud. No, yeah, no, like he's dirty. Does. He's dirty as yeah. hell, but he's like mentally challenged. Pigpen was an intelligent man. Augie's like a preppy criminal. He's got like a crop top and a and like a like a like a like an aqua crop top with like oh, a trench the, coat uh, over the, it. The leopard bandana. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He's got like a preppy criminal thing going on. Was he like, the white collar even, crime? Well, even you know? preppier was the guy wearing the Letterman jacket. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. guy. Yep, was, was that wait, minty? Was no, that, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> minty. Minty. <laughs> it's a minty. I don't know which one was minty, which either. one was rughead. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Ru- no, Rughead's uh, oh, Clint Howard. Clint Howard, okay. Clint Howard. So maybe right, well, Minty Who's the was... nerd? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is Clint Howard's the guy the... I don't know. Minty I might don't be know. the Letterman <laughs> jacket. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. yeah. Okay, so we'll just say Minty's the names. guy. Yeah. yeah. But they they Lord. personify all these stereotypes of high school Very students. True. So. Right. So I is that that's what makes quote, me unquote, assume they're in high, high school. school <laughs> oh my God. Those kids didn't go uh, to school. Yeah, they all got kicked out. They run afoul of the law, which is Sheriff Loomis. That's not obvious at all. Who? The Randy great Quaid. Randy Quaid before he lost his fucking mind. I mean, mm-hmm. he could have been crazy back then. He kept it he hidden, just, though. He, just, he yeah, kept well, it under wraps. Because if he, he had, was. like, he wanted to act. And so he just he, kept that. He know. still showed up for work, though, you know? So, yeah, yeah at least he had that going on. I work. assume all actors are crazy in high school. I would assume. Yeah. Some of them just better than just, others. He break. can't in later days. He's yeah. finally gone around the bend. Yeah. He's rocking so. a nice turquoise bracelet, as Holly pointed out in this movie. He was. Just to remind you, it's in the Southwest, in case you weren't sure. turquoise. Yeah. Came from whatever Navajo. Navajo. Yeah. It was nearby. It's like, that's authentic Navajo. Uh huh. Uh, but the main, our main star of the film is, is he? Oh, shit. I don't know if he is. is I don't he? think he is. I feel okay. like there's two fucking like gutter trash boys. Like yeah. I don't think he is the main yeah. star yeah. of this movie. Yeah. 
Well, he's the top credited Charlie Sheen. Yeah. I know, but they, but they kept showing those goddamn gutter trash boys. Like, yeah. Yes, they did. They well, that's, I guess yeah. the thing that, you know, it's like when you deal with the revenge movie, right? You yeah. have to spend a lot of time with the the, vi- the villains. And make you hate them and hate yourself for yep. having to sit through it? <clears throat> yep. So, and when, so they, when the main guy, quote unquote, comes for his revenge, you're just like, yeah! Yeah. But they just kind of seem more like, like okay, well, most of them at least seem more like bumbling idiots that like just got caught up in something more than like, like I felt like Packard was the real true villain here, whereas the rest of them I was like, eh. he's definitely a true villain, you know, and 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 I and mean, that's probably rightfully so, especially with what ends up happening with like Rughead at the end because he's yeah. just like I'm out, I'm done, I'm taking my yeah. shit and gone. Yeah. yeah, well, he wasn't part of the gang apparently when they murdered right. this guy in cold blood, but the uh, so this Jamie, what was it, whatever, this keep, keep, keep. Yeah. I don't know, he, Jake. No, Jamie. Jamie, the original Jamie. one. The original oh, the one. original one. Back is I gotcha, yeah. Yeah, Jamie gets murdered uh, by the gang, and then he reappears on Earth as Jake in the guise of Charlie Sheen, mm. but clad in a futuristic survival racing suit. It's all black with a visor. It's helmet. a jumpsuit with some shit on it. What's all that shit on it? It's got it tubing like and pipes and piping and <laughs> tubes and we don't know. What does know. it do? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. It keeps him together. Not fuck relevant. If I know. <laughs> I, well, I was it's like disappearing this, at some point. It in the keeps movie. him alive on Earth or something, but he's know. able. It feels to like it's like a almost like a uh, exoskeleton system. Yeah, yeah. Where it just, it I know because some of it looks like a leg brace or right. something like that. It yeah. all looks like braces around him, so mm-hmm. he can move and shit. But there's no if there's any thought put into it, it's not. Uh, it doesn't come across on screen as to what it all means, why it's there. None of that comes through. I get they just it feels like they just shove shit on him to make it quote unquote look cool. I don't. He looks like an alien. It does. Well, especially it when he like shows up at some point to like blast holes in the the villains like the st- garage. car stock right yeah. with this futuristic rifle with lights it's on the barrel. Gun. Don't say futuristic rifle. <laughs> well, it's got like Don't all this that. like... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shotgun with a laser sight on it. Don't say futuristic but rifle. But on the side of it, it had like these little... It does have some lights. And it some made like, red ramp up lights. It didn't... It was the most unintimidating shotgun sound I think I've ever heard in a movie. It was like pew or something like that. Then something would Yeah, no. Pew. It, it's also has uh, a cheat code on it somehow. It's yeah. Like unlimited ammo. Yeah. Well, because it's, a, it's, a god, it's the God it's killer. Supernatural. That's very yeah. true. That's very true. It's yeah, God killer. We can't. We can't the do that. Like two weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row. <laughs> um, Can we just say though that scene where he fucking shows up in the garage and starts shooting up the place? That was so poorly executed. I'm sorry, but it was, it, it, it was... It was, especially because he confronts the bad guy. It and was then slow just as hell. Like, they him. have full vision of him walking in, and they're just, like, so casual about it. And, like, nobody cares that he's there. Nobody cares he's got a gun. Nobody he's cares. And well, Packard just, like, watches him. Well, he's and a just like, so he doesn't yeah, get afraid. He's like, I'm a motherfucker. But it's just, all, it also, it is done. It's so slow. Like, it's... it's he's like a wraith. He should be, like like... Like in the shadows, you know, like they should have you gotten like a is? half vision of him. Nobody's yeah. trying to stop him. Mm-hmm. There's no confrontation between anybody yeah. there. In in other movies, you would see like, oh, this guy showed up. Well, I'm going to fuck him up. Yeah. And they would try to stop him. Yeah. None of that happens. Because he it. has already killed one of their friends at this point, which yeah. nobody seems to care about. Yeah. Nobody cares. Because Augie no. bites the dust early on. Don't give a fuck. They're, they're like, no. fuck you and your crop top and trench coat. Get out of here. <laughs> he may have killed two of them by that. No, yeah. I don't think he did. Because there was one under the car, I think, was the next guy. Yeah. Go, right? Yeah, but he exploded <laughs> two of them on the road. Yeah, I thought so before he showed up. Remember, he did that same move twice on the wrong. road. That's right. He uh, the the wraith's method of killing people because they're racers. He pulls up to them in his turbo interceptor, mm-hmm. yep. the car of the gods, <laughs> sponsored by Carvel. Chrysler. Dodge and Chrysler came together, <laughs> made a car, the MS nine something <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> You're saying this because it says uh, no. I was gonna say it says on the back. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. I looked it up. Black sports car, but on the hood Mm -hmm. is clearly visible because probably it's like they cut to it so many times. Well, because if the car company gives you a car Mm -hmm. as the movie production, you shoot the hell out of it and like, well, look, it's a Chrysler car. Yeah. Did the but it's a supernatural fucking car. So Chrysler's making hell cars. Chrysler's making hell cars. Also, at the very end of the movie, it says in big white letters, Dodge on the back of it. But that wasn't there (laughs) for the rest of the movie, right? I never saw that. In the back window, it just says giant Dodge. Well, you said that they had built... uh, So this is a concept car. It's a concept car. Never went into, like, actual production or anything. Yeah. 
I don't know if it was um, if it was seen outside of this movie or if they built it straight for this movie. Just for this movie, when you guys went upstairs at the very end, they're like, "Thank you to Chrysler for making this for us." Like yeah. it was it was made just for them. Well, there you go. That's why yeah. this has got. That's why there's so many big explosions in this movie. Do we know what the budget was in this movie? Because it feels expensive. It does. does it? Uh, I mean, that explosion. explosion. Oh, yes. right. it, the six, the six concept cars, like the concept cars alone. You and know, the and music the, budget. Yeah, yeah the right. music so budget is unlimited, like, apparently. Well, I was looking up, because I know that Scotty Brothers, the record company, did get into producing movies. They did The Resurrected that we watched in the show and several other ones, but this wasn't one of them. Oh, they did The them. Resurrection? Yeah, that was when they went uh, bankrupt. That's why that movie got stuck in. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> never That's why nobody knows the release. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. But... That's why I was like, did they, because like at the end credits, the end credits consist of mostly the the music credits and the Scotty Brothers logo. Comes yeah. Up. It's like, yeah. did they put money into this or is I that feel, how the production okay, was I, able to I just to looked up the it? budget. Does anyone want to take a guess at what the budget was? I'm going to go I with, okay, 1986. I'm going to say 25 million. No, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go 50. With, I'm going to go with 50. So let's go with $7 million. Two point seven million. What? Oh. They did really well for they two point seven. They did. They had so fucking they good for that. Really well. They had really some big good explosions. Right. I was gonna say they cars? had big explosions. I find like, that hard to believe. But maybe it was, but maybe cars were like cost. donated and shit. <laughs> like that's just possibly. You that probably didn't have to pay for cars. Like Chrysler was just like, what do we Charlie have in the back? Charlie a nobody. Nick Cassavetes is a nobody. Yeah, the cast Randy, cost nothing. Cast. But Randy Quaid got the and credit at the beginning. I forget. He was the and Randy Quaid. That's right. He was the star of National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah. Not yet the star of uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's too. right. And he's yeah. something or other. Oh, Eddie's oh God. Eddie's Island. Even Eddie's 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 Okay, we'll we'll show the logo on the car. You cut some of the money out. That's promotion for you. I don't know. I bet be those cars were donated so they could be in this in this movie. It was like I we're bet they done didn't have to pay and, too much. Yeah, no, no, no. I bet, I bet it was like we we want to show off this car. I bet this movie was made to show off that car. But that's not going to sell that car. Yeah, they didn't. This but movie cool did not car. do well enough to, to, to sell. Off they didn't that. know that at the time. But they had no intention of selling the car. But they just want um, they just want a cool looking car to promote their to brand. promote yeah. the brand a cool design to look at. Mm-hmm. Look, it's also in a movie, which mm-hmm. means you have to show the fucking Chrysler mm-hmm. logo every chance you get on on the Hellcat. Yeah, I think that's that's they were betting on like that's the advertising we want. We're paying for the we're going to donate it as our way of paying for the advertising of right. our design abilities. So Charlie Sheen, this could then, all be wrong. He uh, <laughs> he basically. Gets back into his old life, meets his old girlfriend, who is the one who's being held uh, in a kept relationship with uh, Packard Walsh, mm-hmm. and you remembered re- <laughs> reintegrates himself with Billy, his brother. So, oh yeah, if you watch the movie with that in mind, you can read all of his dialogue. Like, oh, I see what you did there. He kisses the girl finally, like after you know, and he's like, it's been a while. Like, oh, 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 you're saying since the last time you got, I got it, yeah. <clears throat> I died. That kind of stuff the whole way through. <laughs> um, but yeah, so apparently that is Charlie Sheen in the fucking getup because right, he's, he's a very small and unintimidating Oh boy, is he. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He and he doesn't like know how kid, to sell yeah. it. Like, every time he no. walks in, he just stands there, and I'm like, I've seen publicity shots where they at least get him to do, like, a pose you know, a that power looks pose, intimidating. You but know? that combined with the fact that Nick Cassavetes is eight foot four inches tall. Yeah. And seriously. Charlie Sheen, or who's ever in that suit, is like five foot eight. Like, it doesn't work well in the one scene where you see them, like, it, and it's the scene that is disappointing. It's where he shows up at the garage and starts shooting shit up. Michaela and I that, checked. I think Charlie Sheen's what five nine. Five nine. Five nine. We, we, we oh, asked yeah, Alexa. We looked. Oh, wow, really? We asked Alexa. Yeah. And I was like, "That's taller than I thought." Oh, yeah, taller yeah. than I thought, but it's still taller. short. Yeah. And it doesn't like th- uh, that combination of things makes that whole scene play not well. Yeah. I would yeah. venture, like, most of the scenes with, uh, I mean, the costume looks cool, but it's not shot well, right? It's not <laughs> right, utilized yes. well. It's like, no, okay, no, you got no. this just idea. just backlit but... everything. That's all I do, you know? Like, bright I mean, I don't think I want to see that backlit. costume in a bright light. But we do. A oh, lot. We do. Over and over again. In a confusing manner of uh, disappearing items and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, the costume's cooler with all its shit all over it. Yeah. And then shit starts disappearing, disappearing quote like, unquote. Does that mean anything? Because there's always, well, the method, the method that the Wraith employs to get revenge is to pull up next to these guys, rev his engine. They're like, 
what? No, I gotta drop everything I'm doing to go race him because I'm really gonna get that guy. I'm like, what are you gonna yeah, do? Like you, you haven't agreed to like these, get the car, but whatever. Right. They go racing. The wraith pulls ahead. But they'll put on the uh, the radio, uh, whatever the radio silencer. Where they'll put it on his engine. It's like if you try to run, we'll shut your shit down. Why would you consent to put that on your car? I don't, I don't know. That was the other that, question like, I had. It's like, why would you be like, yeah, sure, put that on my car? I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Well, they got fuck you. Fuck you, take off right then and there. You well, know? right, but he agrees because he's the fucking He's the race. And his, he's got like the a race. heart for a heart engine yeah. like in his in the back of his car that, you know, right. I, w- I wish they would have done, it would have been cool if they'd done more with that. Like, maybe at some point it gets like damaged and he's racing with like, uh, 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 a disadvantage I know, because and shit like that. A like better something... movie like The Crow might do something like that. I mean, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> where, the, where the hero can possibly like yeah. get hurt, yeah. and there's some where his supernatural vehicle gets the, right. Where know. there's some disadvantage at uh-huh. some point. They couldn't do that though because the, the car just keeps fucking blowing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that is the method. It yeah. pulls in front of them, they crash into it, but the car is still the same. And the car that's, is reincarnated. Yeah, maybe that's what makes it kind of lesser. There's no. He's just an all-powerful yeah. fucking race. He's here yeah. for a job, man. He's going to kill everyone. That's it. So well, no, no doubt stopping him. he's just going to kill motherfuckers. But yeah. it also doesn't put uh, Cheryl and Fenn in serious enough jeopardy, because that's, no. I guess, the other thing that you have to do, right? You have to put a moral or ethical dilemma in your hero's path, which the crow also does, because he Cause captures the- Because got to make a the, fucking decision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that never really happens in this. So there's like no real stakes for this guy. He's just the like the blandest character, Charlie Sheen. I mean, he has like no personality. He just no. kind of shows up and then, you know, it's like, you know who I am. And they're like, who are you? Because we don't know who he is before he comes back as the Wraith. Right. So we haven't, we're just like, all right, you're back. Which Woo-hoo. is, yeah, the, which is the bad part of the storytelling of this movie that they did not yeah. set that up effectively. Yeah. Right. But you, it gets more into crow territory, as Colin's saying. Like, mm-hmm. and the fact that, feels like that, and the fact that fucking Carrie has no idea who mm-hmm. killed Jamie. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that was gonna be you know exactly point. who killed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be, don't make your woman so fucking stupid. That's just that's insulting. Although, I feel like anyone in this point. town could could tell you. Everyone right. knew, like, like you know, everyone just knew. These guys, yeah. yeah. Everyone knew. Well, tell me. Really, literally nobody else is causing problems <laughs> in this town. Yeah, Everyone wants for them. just to eat burgers and drive their nice cars. Yeah. yeah. And these are the guys And go to the swimming up. hole. And go yeah. to the swimming hole. Yeah, she was like, I was in a cabin making out with my boyfriend, and then like six guys broke in. Yeah. There's a, these like, six other guys uh, who hang out. Yeah. Rugged, yeah. skank. I'm like, oh, yeah. look, there's six of them. Like, right. Wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't it the, be hilarious if she was like, one was like a punk and one was like a nerd. Yeah. And like, uh, you yeah. know, this guy had like a crop top a with a trench hair. coat. And, and this guy was really tall. And, 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 yeah. And, and, you, and a puka and shell you, necklace. And, and you were there. there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it should have been. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. You have this motherfucker who's obsessed with you and stalking you and wants you to be hers or his, but... You have no you idea have no who idea. killed your boyfriend? Yeah. Okay. okay. He literally okay. cut That's his fine. palm in front right. of you. That's fine. Yeah. I'm assuming that he didn't reveal that he was crazy about her until uh, afterwards? After the, afterwards. But that's giving the movie a lot of slack. More credit, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that impression, Colin. Right. <laughs> But this is where but she saw him cut his palm open. Well, later, but and, after the yeah, murder. But yeah. He, he was obsessed with her, killed her boyfriend, then said, like, I'm your new boyfriend. And, you know. But the way she talked earlier, earlier, she was like, I was always Jamie's. Like, I felt like she knew that he, how he felt. Yeah. I think he made it known. Well, this is the other issue, that whole thing about, you know, she should have known because she's in the, the cabin. They knock her. The idea is that they knock her out somehow. Like, somehow they get all, like, all the way to her, knock her out. So she, and then she wakes up the next day on the road and Jamie's dead. Uh, and then she can't identify who they are. Crow solved this because girl also died. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, you can't witness it, and you know, like, uh, you know, Ugh. fine, <laughs> Colin. It's the crow. Yeah, you can't witness it and also say I don't remember God witnessing damn it. Right. I don't Next know week, we're watching yeah. the crow because apparently <laughs> that's what's on Colin's mind right now. I mean, <sighs> sorry, the crow didn't have an awesome car. So that means that That's there's very awesome true. fucking racing and scenes in this movie. there's awesome cars in this movie, yeah, honestly. Awesome cars. Wall to wall, beautiful cars. Like, I'm okay with the racing scene. It is sped up footage, but 
That's fine. It worked it's, for me. It, it works, works for, for me. me. Yeah. yeah, like when they're racing through the canyons and everything, mm-hmm. I'm just like, that works. It works. I like it. It doesn't look, because I've seen movies where they do the, we're driving five miles per hour, but it looks like we're speeding it up just to make it look. Yeah. This didn't look it like didn't it. It didn't look like it, It no. felt like they were racing through some shit. So I agree. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. They were they all better well. driving, mi- they were all better miming driving than Nick Cage and driving. <laughs> That's, <laughs> true. <laughs> That's true. They were way better at it. Well, at least they were being probably towed, or he was like on a green screen. Well. Oh, it's funny Very you should mention true. that, Colin. Oh, you, no. you guys remember how we talked about in uh, Metal Storm how we pretty sure we saw a stunt person die? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone actually died making this movie. Oh, that's very true. Oh, no. Very true. So uh, he died. It's dedicated to him. So, yeah. well, you got to tell us a the story. A camera car this one. was overloaded and flipped over. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! So one of the camera cars following them in a chase scene flipped over. And Dude, she she pour out died. a little bit for Bruce Ingram, the yeah. camera operator. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, cheers, Bruce. Bruce. Mm-hmm. Cheers, Bruce. Mm-hmm. Cheers. He died yep. doing the thing that he loved. We'll always hopefully, remember hopefully you, Bruce. And I'll do that. Yep. You this, left is, a this is not the movie I would have wanted to die on. Like, I, but I would yeah, take this over Metal Storm. You never know. He could have been <laughs> having the time of his life. That's true. That's and true. That's the only thing that matters. Maybe he always wanted to work on a movie, and this was his movie. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he didn't want to die, but no. <laughs> it seems like I guess maybe it's adding to like you know it. To me, this movie feels like they. They shoot it in you know in a way that it feels like a real movie, mm-hmm. but it feels to me kind of like flying by the seat of their pants on the making of this. And I guess that story just kind of like, all right, well that was absolutely one hundred percent what was happening. <laughs> like these people had probably no business making a movie. It was like we got all this money from this record company again. I'm guessing, and we can go out <laughs> and let's make a movie. Quite possibly, yeah. yeah. Well, especially cause when you consider like it's not like they're out in the middle of like the plains like filming this. They're on fucking cliff sides and like up mm. through mountains and canyons and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what? And they're tossing cars over cliffs. And yeah, blowing. That shit up, like and a, a causing wildfires in Tucson. Yeah. The fire, the fire cyclone, or whatever the <laughs> yeah. fuck happened there. Yeah, oh, it's like, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, that was cool. That's wonderful. Yeah, Those it's not accidents. just like there's, there. It's not like they're driving around in open fields. They're like going straight up cliffs and mountainsides and stuff. So, not not the best place to have a overloaded camera car. <laughs> no, no, not <laughs> no. so much. Don't make movies, kids. You'll die. That's right. Very, it's a dangerous <laughs> occupation. <laughs> Hazardous. <laughs> Especially with hey, a bunch of people. Is that a that parallel to the done. crow, though? Someone died yeah. in the making of it? Oh, shit. Why are you feeding his <laughs> obsession? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you know, he's blue as- it's the crow. It's the wraith. It's a two word yeah. time. All okay. right. Oh, All, right. Right. All right. All right. All right. Don't you dare. Stop it. My yep. God. So there was also a scene that boggled my mind where uh, Randy Quaid is trying to track down. Every scene with Randy Quaid boggled my mind. Uh, true. Yeah, yeah. He's, He's trying so to track just down the wraith. Like, His teeth are very distracting. Here. They are. Did he get those fixed later on? I I felt like, like he had to. Yeah, right? I, think, I don't remember him being like that. I think later. he got caps later because okay. they did look different. They yeah. look different later. He's very gappy tooth. Right. But, but, but continue. Uh, well, the scene where he confronted Billy, the brother of the kid who, okay, so the the brother of the murdered kid, yeah, yeah, works at a uh, at the burger, the joint. burger joint, yeah, the only person apparently that works it behind, you know, right on the, the grill, yeah, it works yeah. on the grill, yeah, yeah. You know what else is fucked up about this guy? It's like the bad guys never really see him as a threat, even though he rides home, he gives the girl. Packard's girlfriend a lift home like all the time mm-hmm. it's like he is so not an entity that they don't actually see him don't as they like, call him a faggot or yeah no, 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 they, no. and I suppose they do actually at one yeah. point say like we're gonna take your it's, car it's and then they go like what, yeah. what I think what it is is the other like gang members don't have any anim- don't have any like conflicts with them they all have animosity towards him, but the fact that Packard like gave him a pass because it's I think he mm. feels bad, which I know he's like a sociopath, but I think right. he feels bad. There is can't something, kill there's there's something, there. something there. about that. that. Right. Well, there's something about that character. They were just like they're not totally on yeah. his shit. Where they're just like they don't. Yeah, they don't have any I animosity. Assume, yeah, so I, yeah. They feel he is sorry a non-threat. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. He's the least masculine character. I mean, in the I had a I would not yeah. agree with that, the, but okay. Right. I had a way darker take on it. I just assumed that it was every high school movie ever where like he was like an ostracized kid, so they assumed he was gay and threw those slurs at him, and so he's not a threat. Yeah. Well, there's. But that's what I'm saying. Right, I'll go probably, with that. Yeah. That's, that's what I. It, yeah. yeah. I'll that's go with that. It. But if that's the case, why would he be upset that he's taking his girlfriend home? Yeah, but it was kind of like it, just don't do that again. Yeah. But he wasn't really like because he's got kill no him. other target at that yeah. point. Yeah. 
So it's just like I honestly don't think they really put this much thought into they it. They did. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> but, the real point. Let's be honest. Thing. I mean, not only does this guy skate by the glare of Packard, right? He also skates by the glare of the cops because there was that scene where like Randy Quaid comes in and he's like, "I'm looking for all these guys who killed your brother or are dying strangely." Uh, there's some kid in a black, you know, suit out there running around in a hop, hopped up car, killing them all. You know anything about that? I mean, like that was the scene where it goes like, it's him, right? Like the cop, a logically thinking cop would go like, you're killing the people who killed your brother. Because he has a reason to. Yeah, he's got, he's got a reason to. Cause, yeah. yeah, he's got a reason to. And what happens at the end of the movie, Colin? Uh, he gets the car. Right. Charlie the Sheen. Car. He gets the murder car. Charlie yeah. Sheen says, here, take my car. <laughs> Charlie Sheen is just like, here, oh, take the right. fall for my murders and yeah. take this murder car that everyone knows. Yeah. 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 Why would you do yeah. that to But the brother? cop doesn't even think about to ask him because the, well, we the movie is all on this the, the this one track that like yeah. everybody's just, you know, nope. Ancillary shit doesn't matter. I don't matter. know what's happening out there. There's well, a look, ghost out there well, killing the, people. The, sher- the sheriff, I don't think, even makes the connection that it's fucking Packard and the other guys because he's like, I'm trying to tie all these murders together. Yeah. He's like, I don't think, I don't think he realizes that they you were the ones. Know that, anything about that? I don't think they He's realize like, that they were the ones that killed his brother in the first place. He's like, no. I'm trying to tie well, them all together. Yeah. <laughs> Why else is he talking to Billy? Because they're the, uh, well, because there's 12 people in the town, Colin. <laughs> well, that's, well, there you go. that's possible. And everyone hangs out at the burger joint, and this guy's always working the burger joint, so. That's but possible. He the murder but I don't think yeah. he's there because what? he's tying them to the death of uh, Billy's brother, but. You I don't know. know. I so can't. this is a story about a boy who comes back to avenge his murder and then set his brother up for that. <laughs> that's what this movie's about. Yeah, thanks. Telling you. thanks a lot. For wow. That. Yeah. That's yeah. depressing. But it also has one of those 80, the, like it has an upbeat, happy 80s ending. Sure. Where like you know, bad guys are all dead. Uh, then he gives it, you know, comes to visit his brother in a very touching scene. It, where it is touching because <laughs> I got a little emotional. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's touching. Yeah, it's a good scene. It's a good scene. He's yeah. in the car. You got the turbo interceptor. Aside from out the there. logic behind it, I did like the scene. Right, mm-hmm. you know who I am, bro. It's like you said it. You said it, bro. You said, or you said, you said it, it, Billy. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, said you said it, said it Billy. Yeah. And then he goes ah, back, Charlie Sheen goes back, picks up his girlfriend, because <laughs> now he is human moon. or something, and drives, to, drives the moon. to the moon. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the grease Just it's the up. grease ending. It's the grease ending. Yeah. Well, because he says, now, you may read this as they're going off, you know, to Hollywood. California. You know, right apparently. to California. Yeah. <laughs> But he says nobody will ever know we're there. He told he it to pack light. Pack light. It's a short <laughs> trip because they're going. Uh, it's a suicide ending. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. both yeah. die. They film and lose it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. They do. Oh yeah. my god. Five balls of light and yeah. they just go yeah. off. But they're together forever. Yeah. And it's the most that's romantic thing. Suicide ever. ending. Right. Yeah. I mean. They will live forever, Colin. Yeah. Can you imagine oh, when okay. she realizes what's happening? She's like, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Where are we going? But they were perfect together. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, they this drive off movie. down the same road that he came back in on. All to the tunes of... Uh, I think was it was Lion. I think it was Lion, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, damn, I was like hearing the tune while I was coming down here to the basement. Was, Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Something like that. But right? let's, let's be honest. We all wanted Kenny Loggins at this point. Yeah. yeah. There should have been more Loggins. There yeah. should have been some Loggins. He's the only yeah. thing that like would have cemented yeah, this is uh you know like oh yeah ultra eighties mm-hmm. yeah. yeah I mean dude fucking been the chair Kenny Loggins top. man mm-hmm. yep dude you got mm-hmm. Footloose you got Top Gun you got Caddyshack all feature Loggins I needed would, it would you have settled for Richard Marks if he was in there I love Richard Marks and don't hate me I love him mm, yeah I, I love him. It. Well, I, mean, I mean, it was flawless as it is. You know? Yeah, no, it was <laughs> no, it was com- great. Didn't one tear song and was like, that doesn't work. Yeah, no, nothing, never nothing thought that. Never yeah, worked yeah. In, in I would have. Yeah, true. Yeah. I would have liked Loggins, but I'm okay. Like, I'm fine. Yeah. That's yeah, because there's nothing better than '80s rock. Yeah, people. I mean, they did peak. <laughs> and was... it's nice that they played almost the entirety of every song too. Did you guys notice that? Oh yeah, like, yeah. yes I did. Yeah. We heard all of "Smoke in the Boys' Room." Yeah, like, that yeah, was, yeah. That was the whole song. I know. That's how you know a record company has something. Yeah. That's the assistant director going, how much did we pay for smoking in the boys' room? Yeah. yeah. How much of our 2.7 million budget was that? Yeah. Play it all. Yeah. yeah. They got a deal song. on those artists or something. I don't know. Yeah. But that's, uh, you know, what? So, I don't know. MTV with Thriller was 1983, right? So, I don't know. It's still, you know, your early days MTV. Sure. Right? 
So we're making a movie. We're going to advertise the shit out of it on MTV. Kids are going to buy the soundtrack album. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Was it huge, Michaela? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it did, it did 3.5 million at the box office. So. Uh, what? At, three, uh, what? 3.5? It made yeah. a profit. Over budget? It made a profit. Yeah. But well, that's, its life, that's its lifetime yeah. earnings. Like, oh. But I'm, well, betting, right. I'm betting based on the video cover alone that this movie killed it on VHS because I think that's where I saw it. Well, and I'm possibly. guessing most people who have that's seen this movie. That's a fucking VHS movie This right is a VH, there. 80s that's a fucking VHS, VHS movie. VHS. Mm-hmm. You walk around the store yeah. and you're like, oh shit, The Wraith? <laughs> the yeah. Wraith. Fuck yeah. Sign me up. Look at that. Rated PG-13 with a surprising amount of Lots nudity. of boobs. Surprising Lots amount of boobs. boobs in this movie. Mm-hmm. I yeah. was shocked. PG-13. This was a Thanksgiving wow. movie. <laughs> I mean, oh, sit around with the family and then go and eat some pumpkin pie. Yep. You're full up on turkey? Go yeah. see the rave. The rave. You're like, the what? Rave. Huh? Yeah. what? What? Where are we on the movie? You need some excitement in your life. It only did 1.4 in the U.S. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, All can't right. expect much. Who yeah. released this movie? I don't even know. Uh, hold on. That's it, why I'm it, like, I, yeah, yeah, I was, I, there you were know no what? logos on the version There we was. Watched. There were no logos in this movie. So I'm pretty sure everyone did just fine. Uh, I'm going to guess. I New can't. Century? New Century Entertainment? <laughs> so it's an indie as hell. Yeah. yeah. New Century. What was Corman's? Yeah. They were New, Hor- New, New Horizon, New, New World, Horizon. and New right, Horizon. Right. So New Century. Concord we got to just keep like picking them. New mm-hmm. Decade. Is, yeah. is there ever a New Decade release? New Millennium. New Millennium. That makes <laughs> sense. All right. I think okay. that's it. Well, I'll tell you what, listener. Thank oh, you for sticking with us this long. Thank you so what, much. What we're going to do, we're going to answer some of your mail. And tonight we have an epic mailbag because apparently wow. everyone out there has seen The Wraith. So <laughs> Sean <laughs> certainly knows how to pick the movie. Uh, and then on, uh, That's on the pulse. That's, he does. <laughs> Sean's got the pulse. And then we're going to go around the table, and you're going to hear what we thought of The Wraith individually and whether or not you should watch it if you haven't seen it already. And so, in order to accomplish this feat, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. That's a nice He's suit got two you're full bags, wearing. Man. He's wearing a suit? Yeah. It's a Black leather suit. Leather oh, Jesus. Visor with There's it. no back to it, though. Why? He's got a Fuka shell neck with <laughs> like this. Someone no take that it? away from him, please. He doesn't <laughs> need that. Oh. He's got, he's, got, he's got the white cowboy boots on. Oh, nice. God. He's a he's man, a, fashionable, a creature fashionable of mixed dude. messages. He's going to fringe his cloak right now. <laughs> well, we want to remind you how you can get a hold of us because you want to be heard on Mailbag. We want to read you on Mailbag. Yes, we do. So how can they find us on oh, Facebook, boy, Michaela? Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. What about on Twitter, Sean? At Sat Freak Show. Can they email us, Holly? They sure can. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. And you can also find us on Instagram for the time of your life. So, Paper Thin Wings writes in and says, I fucking love the Wraith. Good. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> Sean Roger writes in, says, I haven't seen The Wraith since I was about 10. All I remember is the car and slight Sherilyn Finn nipple shot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's yeah. more than it does slight. does exist. Yeah. yeah. There's a boob. Yep. Did you go back and watch it? Or yeah, just go to Mr. Skin, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure. Yeah, Mr. Skin. Full yeah, on, Mr. Skin will tell you. Full on boob, dude. But, but she, wait, wait, but she only was, takes the one side down. Well, that that yeah, was but it's one boob. It's, it's one whole boob. It's one whole boob. Yeah. But whole also, yeah, but she's, she's the, the girlfriend. Right, in the flashback, yeah. there's yeah, yeah. multiple boob. Yeah. yeah, multiple boob. Yeah. As in two. Two boob. Not just one boob. There's two. There's two boobs. That's all there is, right? No, I'm pretty sure. And there's a blonde. Okay. I'm just talking about on a person. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Unless you're scaring It's not a total recall situation. Total recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. J writes in and uh, says, uh, Charlie Sheen, Sherilyn Fenn, and Clint Howard answer the question, what if The Crow was an 80s movie about a sports car? Is this why you kept bringing it up? <laughs> no, I thought about this. Like, oh, I, are we sure? I, Mr. J is When I saw The Crow, I thought of The Wraith, but I wasn't actually thinking they, you know, I'm like, how many times has that story been done? There's been tales from the crypts or something. They're always oh, sure. about like somebody revenge gets killed. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 coming back, back from the dead. Revenge yeah. killer. Was, tells, I, yeah. It was fucking. It was uh, drive angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come back from the dead. Revenge. Yeah. Yeah, but exactly. when I saw More a movie cars. with well, a guy named cars. Skank in it. Then you Skank. start going. That's when you start, yeah. 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 Uh, Mark Davies writes in and says the Wraith is awesome, 80s crazy. I loved it as a kid. I still love it now. I wish I would have seen this as a kid. Holy shit. 
I know. I would have loved it as a like, kid. Great. Yeah. Because you get a little bit of everything in there. You get cars. You get explosions in the jackets. You get I'm really bummed. You get boobs. I know. I'm bummed this Mid-riff. wasn't a movie that I watched with my brother. I feel like we would have loved this. I'm bummed this was nothing I knew about until a week ago. Yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't even know about it. I didn't even know about this movie (laughs) until like a week ago. Oh, wow. I was very surprised. This should have been... uh, Have you seen the cover of the poster for this movie? I've seen... Since then, I've seen all of them, yes. Mm -hmm. I have explored. Oh, okay. (laughs) Uh, The Movie Guru Podcast writes in and says it was on Netflix not too long ago. This is a much forgotten gem, dope concept, and you can't beat Charlie in his prime. This is his prime? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Eighty six. We said this is the year Platoon came out, and that made him a superstar. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I get thought like Red the, Dawn before I, all right, this. I'll give it to you. The time is his prime. This yeah. movie is not. No, his yeah, prime. I thought this time in his time, career. Yes. Is, yeah, I thought like Hot Shots was his prime. What? When was uh, Major League? Yeah, Major League Hot Shots is early nineties. Feels like it's early yeah. eighties, early uh, late eighties, yeah. early nineties. Definitely like, the Charlie Sheen prime. I feel like this is like him entering prime. I don't think he's there yet, but I, I'm with you. I'm with you. And Charlie Sheen has entered in many things. No. <laughs> no. Ew. Ew. Uh, I don't, I don't know. No. Hammer 1977 writes in and says, it's a wraith, man, a ghost. Is that Clinton I, Howard? Clinton yeah. Howard, yeah. I hope he knows. Is that the tagline for this movie? It should be. It should it's be. Should we got to find out what that is. Oh, the it's, it's a wraith, man. It's a ghost. <laughs> uh, B-Movie Poster Vault set, writes in says, The Wraith, really fun, very 80s flick, yeah. has one of the best on-screen explosions of the decade. It Dude, it was awesome. awesome. We literally, literally said awesome. that we as we were watching yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. The wood fly. That solid. <laughs> that's solid. That, in fact, that's it was my a review for this movie. Look at the wood explosion. fly. Yeah. Uh, B movie poster vault also says we're talking Mad Max two levels of bloody or explodey awesome, and of course a car you will want to own afterwards. Karate, wasn't, uh, yeah. Wasn't, uh, uh, the car in Mad Max, or at least Road Warrior, also the Interceptor. Oh shit! Wasn't that also was the Interceptor? Interceptor? Dodge sure Interceptor. It was an Interceptor. Uh, I think it was. Mad Mad Max was I think it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh shit! There it is. Well, there correct us if we're wrong, but I don't think I'm we are. Sure I think you're right. Yeah. Tying it all back. I'm almost guarantee it. I'm, I'm sorry 90, to sure. sorry to disappoint you guys. The tagline for this movie is "He's not from around here." <laughs> I mean, wow, that is phoning it in. That is I fucking mean, terrible. You should be ashamed wow. of yourself. That, that was probably crowd tested or whatever market tested. I'm not gonna but lie, but technically he is from around there. <laughs> I mean, but how many? I'm not gonna could lie. That, that to you. You're gonna put that on ET. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That makes me laugh. <laughs> See, the whole thing with the scars there. on his back and all that stuff. That's technically, like, he actually is from around there. Yeah. He is exactly he, he, from technically there, technically. That's so his that's hometown. Not from yeah. around here. Uh, Karate Warrior 2 writes in. Dom! And says, hey, Dom. My best friend. He says, great soundtrack, great 80s hair, and a whole lot of shit being blown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. If it wasn't for Brooke Burke on roller skates, oh, Car- yeah, she does. Oh, She's my God, this. she was she in, in this. this movie. I forgot about that. I knew Car- I recognized st- her. <laughs> and the car getting stuck on the semi-trailer botch. What? Did we can't miss this? Oh, no. no when was, the, when yeah, the semi... Yeah, yeah. When they drive in the final race, when they drive past the the truck, that's oh yeah, carrying all oh the cars. it's got a chain on it. Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. There's a bunch of them, yeah. like cars falling off the top that get stuck on it. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Yeah, like that's just it's cool if it wasn't. I'm assuming it wasn't planned for the cars to get stuck on it. But right. Yeah. The whole it was thing to go makes flying. it look really yeah. cool. Yeah. When they're just dragging shit. All right. Well, he says if it wasn't for Brook Burke on roller skates, car getting stuck on the semi trailer botch, botch cool. an awesome tornado column of fire after the go. Packer death, I wouldn't watch it again. But he gives it two and two if it weren't and for like eight things. Yeah, if it weren't okay. for all those things, right, he wouldn't watch caveats. it again. So he's giving it two and four wraiths out of five. Two for the regular viewing, four for the things he mentioned viewing. <laughs> out of five. Okay. Out of five. Uh, and he also okay. says shout I speak out. Dom, it's okay. <laughs> he wants to give a shout out to the Saturday Night Freak Show alumni Gary for Never Surrender, which Dom, <laughs> as the, uh, what would you say, the, the catalog of the. Uh, Dom's the, the game super he's the fan. He's yeah, the historian. Of the Saturday Night he's Freak the one who's going to remember things when we're all gone. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was amazing, That's Dom. That's pretty amazing, Dom. floored me. Somehow he figured out on our Nightmare on Elm Street 3 episode that Gary said Never Surrender was his favorite 80s. 
movie thing or movie Thank song. You. Um, Thank you, Tom. I that level it. of dedication is no, so No, like, I don't, I don't even remember what we watched last week, and yeah. you remember yeah. that. I like, don't dude, remember what we're right. watching. Bravo. Like, like, Sean, whoever is picking is, they'll say what they're watching, and then Friday rolls or Saturday rolls around, and I'm like, wait, what are we watching? Today? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, no, I, we get to, like, it's always... Thursdays when we start posting this stuff for the new episode yeah, and that's yeah. the day I'm always like what are we watching again? Yeah. <laughs> we I literally never remember in our group chat today did I not ask what we, we were did. watching what today watching? Mm-hmm. yeah what are we, watching? we never it makes it more magical though because it, it seems like you guys are just I don't know what it is of all these new things yeah, yeah. It's uh, Dom. He also has the. I'm assuming you listen to a Stone Cold Sober. Maybe I'm wrong, but you've got one up on us that way. That's I mean, true. I wouldn't be able to keep track of this podcast if I was drunk. With no, <laughs> no, yeah, keep yeah. Track of this podcast. No. Yeah. Uh, he also <laughs> says, "You're right. That's why we can't. I can't keep track of this. <laughs> You're very right, Colin. <laughs> he also says he's still waiting on that 4.99. Hurry up, Michaela. Sean is good. God damn it! I'm on, I'm on the shit list yep, now. You got, yeah, <laughs> Sean. It's me and Dom. You, you take it back, please. I don't want it. Nope. No, uh, <laughs> me and Dom. How much is that in Australia? Da- Dom's my ride or die now. <laughs> Mate, I oh, think sorry. it is four ninety nine. Okay, now. Right. Dom's my ride so or die now. What's the, the hashtag? Uh, hurry up, Michaela. Sean and Sean is, is God. God. Sean is God. Yeah. There you go. You went oh, from Jesus. hating Sean to yeah. now I exactly. hate me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Dude, don't. Me, don't. me and Dom. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> nothing you can do about it. <laughs> don't <laughs> drive <laughs> no. is the turning nothing point. Nothing you can do about it. Don't make Sean's head Thank bigger. You, Let's not. Well, is my head big? <laughs> 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 it's only filling up this whole thing. Dom, you've <laughs> created a monster. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of drive angry, wait, hold on. Nikipedia says uh, The Wraith is my favorite childhood movie. Awesome. But I'm about, so jealous of you people. It's a good like, childhood. They come to see this as children. That's a wonderful. good childhood. About Drive Angry, Basin Voorhees says uh, they couldn't make Ghost Rider 3, so Drive Angry was their alternate route. I am I the only one who wants a Ghost Rider 3 with Nicolas Cage? Yes. It really does uh, feel like yes, a repurposed Ghost Rider, honestly, like with it less, sh- like less it should, money. It you should. Know? Like, it feels like it's of that, of what he. The reason he took that movie is because it feels like a, a Ghost Rider 3. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's why the, they thought of him or something, right? right? Yeah. Something yeah. like something came together in that. There's a, that's yeah, there's a it. there's a connection somehow, right? Because mm-hmm. yeah. it feels like, and I would be more like, I've never seen either one of the Ghost Riders, so I don't know. Are they anywhere near? I mean, Drive Angry? Like I don't, I don't uh, know. They're bigger budget because it was like they're comic sure. book movies, so yeah. you know they're. I can't believe they made two of those movies. Yeah, Holy they're shit. not. They're not ridiculous like Drive Angry. No, no, they're not because they're they're not. I'm not saying be, they're good. I'm no, saying they're, they're not good, ridiculous but they're like more it. Serious yeah, yeah. Oh, they're not meant to I mean, be B movies. Be uh, oh, they should be. No, they're not meant to be. Yeah, I know your yeah. audience. Uh, the anonymous General Maggle writes in and wow. says, uh, well, you "Give yourself a name. You're not." <laughs> General Maggle, right? That's true. Uh, but this, he says, uh, Drive Angry is all about having fun. And fun fact, Nicolas Cage almost started in The Wrestler. Had that happened, he would have feuded with Jericho at WrestleMania, maybe even, even putting on a better show. God. No, I'm saying all the can things I, that I want to see. Yeah, I was going to say, where's the parallel universe where that happened? I want to go there. I want to wow. A, see him in The Wrestler, B, <laughs> see wow. him fight Jericho. Yeah. Wow. That would be great. Could you imagine, imagine where Nicolas Cage would be right now? I was going to say, could you imagine what that would have done for his career? Too? Yeah. The I would pay anything to watch a Jericho Nicolas Cage <laughs> match right now. I wow. want it so bad. I want, I want to live in that The world. wrestler would not have been what it was. That's no. true. <laughs> I, I, no, I don't know. I don't know. It could. I don't I, know. I want to see Nicolas Cage no. go for an elbow What did you think rope? about Mickey Rourke before The right. Wrestler? Yeah. It's you know? the movie that re-legitimized is, Nicolas yeah. Cage as an uh, actor. I, I really don't think Nicolas Cage had the chops. But no one thought that of Mickey Rourke before The Wrestler either. You but probably, I could see it. He was very it. washed up I could that, see it so. in Mickey Rourke. I do not see it in Nicolas Cage. That, that's what just like we don't see great. Yeah, just like we don't see Nicholas Cage he being won Superman an Oscar for yeah. leaving Las Vegas. Yeah, he did win. He's an um, Oscar winner. Chris Huddleston writes in. Chuds. And he See says, uh, I feel like you need to cover Bad Lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans to complete some sort of mm. Nick Cage unholy trinity. There's better movies. I've, I've I've heard that one's pretty crazy though. I've heard Is good yeah. things about that one. Yeah, like mm. well, good things in the sense of like it's so bad you got to check it out. Kind of. I, well, I was uh, Port of Call. Yeah, because I've seen the first it's one the sequel, with uh, yeah. Harvey oh, it's the Keitel. Sequel. Yeah, oh, the sequel I heard is batshit. Yeah, that's what yeah. I heard too. The yeah. first one I heard is like an actual legitimate movie that you can enjoy. Uh, you don't enjoy it. <laughs> 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 it's an Abel Ferrara movie. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, then I'll take that back. Yeah. But I saw the Harvey trailer. Harvey Keitel does the full Monty. Oh, it's does, not oh a pun Jesus. Yet. Oh, no, uh, my God. No, right. no, I'm good. Uh, don't, don't judge me, but I'm just like, I'm more interested in the movie. Because I'm just like, <laughs> 
before. But I'm like, the, a movie that Harvey Keitel was just like, woo! Like he decided he's going to just call him Mr. Like, Skin, John. But I want know? to know why. I want to see the whole movie around why he decided he's this was worth it. At this lieutenant. Oh Jesus! Yeah. I, mm. Hey, oh, you know. Right, Jen- but yeah, I saw the trailer for the sequel. Look crazy. Oh, yeah. Jennifer Lawrence decided Red Sparrow was the movie she should get naked for. That's right. People make bad choices when they're you know given those options. So. Uh, Chris also <laughs> wants to know: uh, Does Amber Heard top Jamie Gertz? For Colin and Sean. She tops her for me. Thanks for asking. For me, yes. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you have to ask the women in the podcast as what? well. well like, especially because we expressed a lot of love for him. Yeah, we were, right, we, right. we, were the, we were the ones talking about how hot she was. Yeah, she's I mean, I'll, I'll say this. Men are not the only ones that can appreciate the difference between Amber Heard and Jamie Gertz. <laughs> See, that's so, I'm disappointed. If, I, I if they were asked, asked, let's make it equal. I think he was just asking because you two wanted to yeah. form the Jamie Gertz fan club, right, to yeah. be fair. So, I don't think yeah, I would form I the Amber Heard fan club. I would take Jamie Gertz over Amber Heard. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a personality thing. Like Amber yeah. Heard in all of the movies that she's in, her personality is not as attractive to me as Jamie yes. Gertz is. I, uh, yeah, I'll take I can see that. Even though yeah. Amber Heard, I think, is more physically uh, sure, but I want appealing. like, but it's not just. <laughs> we're being serious here. It's not just it's about the attractiveness yeah. and, and all that. I mean, She's probably person, a really nice person. Fine, that's fine. But right, the personality she, that comes through with Jamie Gertz, yeah. I would, that is, is more. I, I apologize to see how this clearly was your question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, and, you know, and like, it doesn't. Yeah. Yes, it, <laughs> it doesn't help that it, we, we have, have thoughts on this, Holly. I don't know if you knew that. But. No, yeah, don't no, take the mic, dude. That's all you. <laughs> Jamie Gertz, all the way. It doesn't help that we. Have yet to see Amber Heard in a legitimately good movie either. You know what I'm saying? Like Zombieland. What? Aquaman is she on the horizon. She's in it. She she's was in the five, five seconds. She's in it. You know, all the boys uh, loving it. Mandy Lane. I was not a fan of. I haven't and seen the movie. I haven't seen the Rum Diaries. Don't. Know. I hated. Yeah. That. I, seen I hated yeah. the Rum Diaries. Um, it was so, so boring. I mean, like, but like, we you hardly ever get to see her as a leading woman, and yeah. if you do, it's not good. So like, we, we don't really have any Aquaman. good. Yeah, Justice Aquaman. She's gonna be Mira. So. All right. Well, speaking of Mandy Lane. Talking about movies I don't give a shit about, but okay. Andrew John writes in and says, I love Mandy Lane. Well, I I like it. I might have to try this movie. Yeah, it's not, but. I mean, it's a a decent. It's a great thing. Yeah, it's a low, kind of small slasher film that Mm -hmm. had uh, kind of. That's fine. Yeah. Um, What's wrong with that? Drew Scott writes in and said, if Billy Bob Thornton and Benicio del Toro had a child, that would be what Billy Burke from oh, yeah, Drive so Angry this. looks like. I can see so it. This, it's the hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Dom and the, like, the thinks, eyebrows uh, and the way the eyes are set. Yeah, yeah I can yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Dom mm-hmm. thinks he looks like a young uh, Nick Cave singer. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see oh, that. I can see that. Yeah. yeah, that picture he posted of Nick Cave is not flattering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so, well, yeah, anybody. He's getting kind of yeah, cadaverous. Yeah. And the, well, Nick sure. Cave's always been a scary guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of. But a good singer, a poet. That man is Red right hand. Yeah. Hells yeah. Been a fan. <laughs> he writes good <laughs> movies too. Yeah. But his murder ballads are fantastic. Mm-hmm. You should check those out. Mm-hmm. They really are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a whole, uh, that's a whole thing. Mm-hmm. So Woo! that brings us to the moment you've all been waiting I for. Think so. How did the Wraith stack up in the opinion of the uh the lofty minds here at the Saturday night freak show? We're gonna Call find him. out as we go around the room. <laughs> Just stop at some point and I'll yell your name. <laughs> uh, Colin, what did you think about The Wraith? The Wraith. Starring Charles Sheen. Uh, yeah, so, okay. Uh, going into it tonight, my memory was, I saw it 30 years well, ago. Your memory was crystal clear? No, yeah, I, my memory of, yeah. of not liking it. Because basically you watch sure. a movie and then you're like, okay, I file that away and I remember what I thought about it. Do I need to come back to this? And the memory on The Wraith was no. So... When you said, you know, like there has been, it seems like a groundswell of uh, interest in this movie yeah, now. Recently, like yeah. people are, is it coming out on Blu-ray or something? What the fuck? No, it it's just it, it feels like it's being like rediscovered by a few people. It, again, it popped up in my, uh, you know, in timelines in certain areas by like different people who are not associated with each other, so they wouldn't know that they were talking about it. But different people just start talking about. It. I'm just like, all right, this seems like something I need to look at. So. I'm. I, I feel like I heard or, you know, I 
I feel like the Alamo Draft House maybe did like a midnight oh, showing or something. Or brought it back. And... Or like it's in that kind of community. Yeah. It yeah. Looks, okay. You know. All right. Well, now it has made it to the Saturday Night Free it Show, has. which means so that official. you have heard about it. That's right. <laughs> yes. Now it's official. Now it's, it's official. Now it's real. Boom. Yeah. Um, so I went into it tonight with like, okay, you know, I mean, you change in 30 years. It could be whatever. And maybe it's a lot of fun. You do. And uh, so it starts out and I'm like, this is a lot of fun because it's pushing a lot of those nostalgia buttons, which I'm like, it's got this look, a feel, and a sheen to it. <laughs> oh, Colin! Does it have a, oh, does it have a Charlie sheen it, to it? The review be done. <laughs> done is your review. I'm falling down a whole... Uh, sheen. But So oh, it's got boy. this, the 80s gloss. is like, it is very 80s. <laughs> <We're>, and <laughs> I like... Trying to, re- to repackage the 80s stank. The 80s stank. The, the gloss. The gloss. The patina. The <laughs> trying to re- repackage this. You're just like, I'm going to take this away from Tom. Yeah. And that's right. We're going to turn it. Else. Well, one of these is going to stick. I just <laughs> right. don't know which one it is. All right. The 80s stank. Just let him try some things. Stank <laughs> yep. sounds bad. I'm workshopping it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... Um, I like that about it. I mean, I like the the music, uh, you know, just, um, I don't know. Again, because that is the era that I grew up. So that's why I think it's, you know, it, it, that stuff plays to me. However, when you actually do try to, you know, you know, you, you have that little, like, um, the romance period with the movie when you first meet it and it comes on and it's like, <laughs> it's touching you in all the right so places. True. No, no, so okay. true. No, so true. <laughs> And then eventually, you kind of like it's settling. It's so true. It's touching you in all the right places. <laughs> I feel like you're redoing my review from last week when I compared it to a relationship. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. See, but that, that, that's, that's, that's the thing you have to do with movies I, sometimes. Yeah, I agree. Like it's a yeah, I agree. Having. There are ebbs and flows. It is a give and take. Yeah, yeah. 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 ebbs and flows. Yeah. It's true. Like, but somewhere before the time you get to the uh, in the in the eighties nostalgia <laughs> buttons. So the uh, oh, it's touching me in the nostalgia, nostalgia button. I'm not used to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> by the time that by the time. That the, <laughs> uh, all right, but so by the time the movie settles into like the second act, I think that was about the time where I'm like, huh. These people are like two dimensional. To a person, there is no char- There are no characters in this movie. There are types. Like they have nothing. To- they do not live a life outside of the scenes that yep. we watch them in. And they're all like single minded. Like the only thing that goes on in our minds is the plot of this movie. Yep, completely one dimensional. And so then, I- okay, so one dimensional. We'll even take. Yeah, I'll no. agree with you. I yeah. will take a dimension off of that. Yes. Um. <laughs> And then you sit there going like, well, at least it's got this awesome action. And so I guess I saw a different movie than you do. I grant that they had hot cars. I grant that they were moving fast. <laughs> uh, I do not think it was edited in any kind of way that made it exciting. They were like the dullest. I think maybe because I knew there was no stakes to this. So maybe it wasn't the, maybe it was just dramatically. It's like, okay, we're driving down the stretch road and eventually, you know, somebody's going to die. I mean, there was no suspense. It was just kind of like, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. It was like, okay, the cars are going. And then there was the explosions. And then you're like, okay, that looks awesome because they blew stuff, some stuff up. I felt maybe like they didn't have a good stunt crew. Like maybe that's what the movie needed was like an Not experienced a good, car, good, good stunt car stunt crew yeah. could do. Yeah, maybe that's what the problem was. Maybe like, they killed them all. Yeah. No. no, no. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's you know what you're selling the movie on is your uh, the the action of it's a car race it's movie. Thirty one years. <laughs> yeah, thirty one years. And uh, also, I thought 32. that they didn't. That's it. Yeah. Well, it's probably been 30 years since I, I saw it on tape. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but I thought they also like the mix of horror, supernatural with, like, they totally biffed I'm it. I'm sorry, there was a mix of horror and supernatural? Yeah, but there should be. It's a ghost <laughs> that comes back and is killing people, front reaching out from beyond the grave. Uh, yeah. Only they give them the sci fi thing instead of a horror thing, and you're like, yeah. what? And uh, I thought that didn't work at all. It wasn't shot well. The director clearly doesn't know how to stage anything for any kind of impact. And it was like, all right. And uh, as I was thinking about it, like, you know, the thing that gives the guy away is the scars on his back. I'm like, the year before this Pale Rider came out, which also was a fucking revenge movie where the guy comes back to get revenge with the 
I don't know that they were trying to hide it, though. I think they were trying that to was, give you... It was pretty yeah. obvious, it seemed like. Yeah. A like scar on his neck and the, and, and the back yeah. and everything. Yeah, I'm like, how far would you have gone, I think, wondering that, you know, Charlie Sheen's character wasn't this true. the guy who... Because by the time they just kind of... He evaporated, he's driving his bike at that one point midway through the movie and evaporates. I'm like, wow, that was like... They haven't actually explained this until now. They're just assuming you're going into it going like, this is obvious as hell. That, you know, that's mm-hmm. the setup to the movie. So um, I think I had fun for a portion, good portion of the movie, and I enjoyed, you know, watching it with you guys. But I don't think I would actually tell anybody to go, like, you got to go check out the Wraith because it's so awesome. It does this. I mean, unless you're uh, by the soundtrack, maybe. Uh, definitely check out the poster. The poster's <laughs> awesome. Check out the poster. <laughs> Put your eyes on the what? poster. Put your eyes on the poster and imagine <laughs> oh the movie that could have been. Uh, that's uh, my review of The Wraith. Holly, what would you think? You know what? I, I really understand what you're saying, Colin. I was I was very torn on this movie. I was very split right down the middle. I got my pros and cons. It hit... There's a song about that, isn't there? Yeah, that's, there is. There is. Um, <laughs> It, you know, it hit it hit the nostalgia and uh, like the the music, the explosions, the eighty stank. Like it hit all those points that I really the patina, enjoyed. The gloss, as Colin tried to rename it. <laughs> there we go. It's back to stank. <laughs> it just stank. works. It just works. Um, it hit all those points, and then there's these other points that it's just like I I hated these characters. I hated them so much. They were so. It, they were so horrible, it was distracting, and I was just sick of seeing them on the screen. And that just, it pulled away from what I was enjoying. And I, I, I agree with you, Colin. There were those elements that just made it, it pulled away from the movie and made me enjoy it less than than what I had so far. Um, so I, I was very split this whole movie. Um, but yeah, I, I gotta agree with you. I don't know that I would actually recommend it to somebody. Um, I think it, I think it's fun to watch the group, but to really, to really say, yeah, go watch this movie. I don't think I can recommend it. I think I'm agreeing with you a hundred percent, Colin. Okay. All right. So the Wraith, um, did you guys know that while they were making this movie, Johnny Depp was dating Sherilyn Finn and was living oh, yeah. in the hotel with her. That they were staying at while they were filming this movie. Wow. wow. All right. Oh, shit. He was also in Platoon. Holy Giant crap. Giant Dad was in Platoon? Yeah. I have really? not seen Really? Briefly. I, I have I not apparently seen, I need to I have watch not seen Because he was not a yeah. star. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Was just, I have not dude, seen Dude. <laughs> yeah, well, Nightmare, yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street was... But that didn't make him a star. He yeah, became no, a star no, with... Yeah. Um, Gilbert Grape, which was 90... Did that make him a star? Yeah, but... Gilbert Grape? That was... Did it put him on a radar? Uh, well, that was not, like an Academy Award nominated movie. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm not saying it made him a star, Wait, but it put him on a radar. Like, was it, I, wasn't Crybaby or... before What's he Eating oh, Gilbert Cry Grape? Baby, I, I think... thought Crybaby was, was like the I'm, 90s. I don't know the trajectory of the Johnny Depp. Hold on, I'm gonna, uh, I know. I should know this. Quick. It feels like it was I, Edward Scissorhands, but it seems like but it should, even it now, like I knew who he was before that. Hold on. I'll check. I'm fact checking. Hold on. Yeah. It doesn't feel like Edward Scissorhands would be that thing. All right. I mean... How big was he from Twenty One Jump Street? No, no, no. I, again, I don't know. He the, wasn't a the star yet. trajectory. That's like, a, hey, it's that kid, but yeah. there's the movie. Now tomorrow that does is gonna. It. Tomorrow, my day is gonna be <laughs> tracking yeah. how Johnny Depp became a star. Yeah. Edward Scissorhands Great. was 1990, and Crybaby was 1990, but Edward Scissorhands was earlier that year. What was before Edward Scissorhands? Um, Platoon. That was wow. it. All right. Yeah. 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 And then before that was Nightmare on Elm Street. But he was very right, but he was very yeah. young in mm-hmm. Edward Scissorhands. Mm-hmm. So it must have been I assume Twenty One Jump Street was right. was started in eighty seven. There you until go. 90. Okay. Yeah, so that, so that was, was a sticking yep. off point. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Gilbert Grape was ninety three. Okay. Yep. Um also, Felicia Day has said, okay, if anyone from Netflix, Pat and about Felicia Day, Jonah Ray, any of you are listening, Mystery Science Theater people, Felicia <laughs> Day said that this is her all-time favorite bad yeah, movie, and she, she wants did. to do this as a Mystery Science Theater Oh, episode. yeah. Right. And I am 100% behind that. I am I would so on board for that. So watch that. <laughs> Just know that we did it first. <laughs> yeah. No, invite, invite us to be on the episode. Just know that. Put us on the episode. I would love that. That would be Just amazing. Just acknowledge us on the yeah. episode. Please. That's all I want. Let us call in, you know? That would be awesome. That would be that would be amazing. Um, 
So this movie I enjoy for the same reason I enjoy a lot of movies you guys don't necessarily enjoy is that I like the time capsule nature of it. I love all of the mm. 80s things like really shoved in there and bottled up into this one movie. I think like, t- I mean, I'm not really watching for the story at this point. I'm watching for the like museum goer aspect mm-hmm. of the time capsule. Those are the things I love. Yeah. 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 Those there are the things are, I love. It's, it's very f- few movies that are this jam packed right with 80s. yeah the yeah. dna of the 80s runs very <laughs> fluidly through this right because a lot of movies you'll get the fashion but you won't get the music or the mm. other things and this one has all of it you know mm. and shoved into like a southwestern landscape which i feel yeah. like you don't see a lot in movies either you know yeah it's it's either like obviously california trying to be someplace else in the world or you know some city landscape or something but Anyways, I I really enjoyed this movie. I had seen it once before, but remembered not much of it. Um, The car design is really cool, but I kept thinking the whole time, like, how did they shoot this? Because the car, you can, like, it is straight up blackout on the windows. Like, you can never see in it. You can never see anyone driving it. So Mm -hmm. when I'm watching the movie, I'm just like, how did they shoot this? Like, did they have it, like... Is it like two way window glass or something where like the person oh, yeah. inside can see out? You just can't say see yeah. in or something. Yeah, it's like, just that tint stuff. The, the you have but cars But it's straight up black. Room. You don't even see like the silhouette of a person. Like you cannot see in at all mm. in this. And like no matter what angle they shoot it from, you can't see in. So that's I thought that was really interesting. But uh, I would definitely rec- recommend this movie. I could see it totally being a hangover movie for me. I can definitely see myself like in bed eating a bagel watching It's a whole other movie. genre that yeah. Michaela has created. Yeah, hangover. no, hangover movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you've when you're... been listening, the hangover <laughs> yeah. movie is a thing. Well, because like, when you're hungover, the last thing you want to watch is something that's going to make you think. Right. That's the, what makes you, you want puke. something you have to keep track of. Yeah, if you have to think it's going to give you a headache or it's going to make you puke or both. Like, you, uh, you need Because the last thing you want to do is watch a Charlie Sheen movie going, Ugh. Yeah, like, <laughs> like Inception is not a good hangover movie no, you know like no, you, no. you need something that is just like you can second screen and kind of like check in and out of and it's still enjoyable and I think that is totally this movie and I would definitely recommend it Sean oh the Wraith um I'm gonna say I think my problem uh, right off the bat with this is um there's I have no association of Charlie Sheen and the character he plays in this movie with the Wraith I don't connect those two characters because, like you said, we get – I mean, when we get into, like, a character who's in this car later on in the movie, like, it just seems like there's no connection between those two people in this movie. Yeah, it, like, halfway through this yeah, movie, I looked, sure. I looked at Michaela and I was like, why haven't they checked back with Charlie Sheen? Like, yeah. they need to bring that back. Yeah, yeah. I, exactly. It, there's no, like, I know that Charlie Sheen is technically this character, and we get the very one scene where he kind of, like, phases out of the Wraith character <laughs> into Charlie Sheen. <laughs> yeah. Which is, Ooh, yeah. I don't really want to do that which again. Which is comical in itself. It didn't belong in this movie. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. But other than that, it, in, it didn't belong in this movie, and in the seriousness of, like, uh, uh, Charlie Sheen coming back to avenge his own murder... I don't associate him with the character who is actually coming back to avenge his own murder. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Well, we never really even talked about it, but like this movie has like, it's like the, there's the car. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like there's anybody in the car. It feels like it's, no. one, it's like Christine or the movie, yes, the it car. It feels like it's operating yeah. on its own self. It's the devil car. You know, cause actually and that's because we never actually car. see anyone driving it. Right. Yeah. You can't yeah. see in it. Yeah. yeah. The and then, car took place in the Southwest, too. That movie, The Car, <laughs> James Rowland, it's a devil car. It's oh, a black, big black car. Nope, don't yeah. know. Okay. Mm, I'm sure there's a movie called Devil Car as well, so I'm probably... Probably, <laughs> probably yeah. But that's but the that's thing. that's why. Mm-hmm. But, well, that's the thing. Like, there's elements of this movie that I have no connection to, or like... That that don't connect to each other. Like mm-hmm. I can't place Charlie Sheen in that car getting revenge for his murder. So he's just in another character in this movie. And so I think that does I don't know, that does a disservice to what like the whole bigger story of this movie is. Let's be real, he was never actually in the car. I mean he <laughs> was never he was never in the car. No, yeah. He may have been in the costume because he was fucking shorter than and he's yeah. credited as being but I doubt it. But but uh, like uh, yeah, there's not know. even a shot of like the car door opening and him getting out. Like yeah. no. he's lit nowhere near nothing. this car. There's yeah. nothing to yeah. associate him with like the the eye shield goes up on the can on the uh, helmet no. at one point. I don't that's, think that does either. That's like it superimposed does. or it's it like is, but it's not him or it, 
You see eyes, but like right. it's not but distinct also, enough to know it's Charlie Sheen. Right, yeah. but it's also Charlie Sheen is also playing a different version of the character that gets murdered earlier. Which in is this like movie. why? Because he has to look different, so they don't know who he is. Right, so they don't know that that's the character coming that's back. Pale so Rider. The, it's the mystery. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> back to Pale Rider. Um, this movie is. Uh, um, I was uh, like I said before, I was thrown off by this movie because it's actually it feels like a legitimate '80s movie. Like it doesn't. There's no. Uh, I don't know. There's no. It's not crazy enough. It's not uh, outside of. I don't. They just don't do anything that's just like whoa. There's no bad shit craziness to this movie. It feels like uh, a product of its time, but nothing crazier than that. I don't know. It doesn't. Uh, it's not. It's got some good stuff to it. I can't deny it that. That fucking explosion is... Oh. Uh, that's a big thing for it's me. It's beautiful. Like you said, great, beautiful. great wood. Great wood in great that explosion. Wood. A lot of balsa wood. wood. A lot of balsa wood, wood in that explosion. I love that. Day. That goes a long way with me. That's very good. <laughs> Somewhere Joel Silver was like... It's like, oh, something beautiful was just happened. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere Joel just Silver happened. was influenced. Yeah. That's, yeah. No, that's when he got his wings. Yeah. 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 Joel Silver yeah. was like, what just happened? Yeah, I, I, I felt know. it. When, I mean, like, that's a... Fucking huge! It's explosion. huge, one. yeah. And it That's, goes on for a long time. Yeah. Like, it's not just it. Like it. No, it goes, keeps going. It, it, it keeps going. On top. Yeah. yeah. Again, I'm gonna relate it to. Oh, I found another one I can relate it to. During the movie, I related to the uh, the critters house explosion in Critters One because that was also a great wood explosion. The yeah. house blows up. Yeah. There's wood flying everywhere. Also in Tremors Two. <laughs> when they blow up the warehouse, that's also a great wood explosion. Yeah. I have levels for this yeah. type of explosion. Yeah. But this is bigger than all of them, I yeah, assume. I, it, is it like two uh, Tremors 2 I don't know, Tremors 2 is a fucking big explosion. There's more fire in this one. Yeah. That one is more of a, like a, uh, uh, just like a energy blast. How many Tremors 2 explosions do you fit into the one Wraith explosion? Uh, ooh, um, fire-wise, it's yeah. probably, ex- <laughs> probably an explosion and a half. Oh, the Tremors okay. two explosions because there's no fire yeah. in the Tremors I explosion. See Tremors it's just two at some point. Energy just. Yeah. You have not seen Tremors two? Yeah, I think you brought it and watched it. It was fart no. blasters. No, no, no. That's that's three. That's <laughs> ass blasters, <laughs> and that's okay. part three. Right. Oh, you have a lot to learn, Colin. <laughs> um, but the fact that uh, the Wraith was a it felt like a legitimate eighties movie threw me off. Um, and I suppose it's it's good in that way, but. It's lacking in a lot of other ways. Like Colin said before, like these characters don't live a life outside of yeah. like the storyline that was written for them. And that's that's a big problem. Like I can't imagine these characters doing anything outside of what they were written to do. Like this is the life they're gonna like live you, like from you here don't, to forever. You don't imagine what's inside Carrie's house. Because you yeah. think no. you think she's yeah. just supposed to come out the front door, right? She's supposed to come yeah. out the front door and hang they out like people. collapse if you think about it. And they right. just they go <laughs> right. Yeah. These are the people that walk inside their house, and then you can see the set mm-hmm. inside yeah. of it. And yeah, all that. and for that, I it's uh, I mean, yeah, it kind of falls apart at that point. Um, you know, I guess what we're doing on here is I'm looking for something that's just a little bit more than that. So the wraith and Charlie Sheen is not. I mean, he's not, uh, it doesn't feel like he's a star of this movie. It doesn't no. feel like he's a part of this movie. He's in this movie, but he's not doing anything outside of this movie. He's not starring in this movie. He's not crazy in this movie. And that's, I, I, that's, I guess that's what I'm looking for. I don't think I recommend The Wraith. It's not crazy enough for you to like yeah. dedicate your time to to go watch. Unfortunately. It's got mm-hmm. some good elements that I won't deny. But to dedicate your time to it, you're not going to be satisfied when you do. So, no, mm-hmm. I don't recommend The Wraith. By good elements, you mean it's got a fucking awesome poster. Awesome poster. Soundtrack. Awesome poster. Soundtrack, soundtrack. is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's a very good explosion in this. Yeah. Clint yeah. Howard gets to, like, talk to Randy Quaid for, like, five minutes and then walk away. That's great, too. But it's the it doesn't come together to create something that you want to watch or go back and watch. So, no, you could probably find something else that's better. All right. Pass on the Wraith. Possibly next week's movie might be better than the Wraith. We don't know. We don't even know what it's going to be. Probably. Who's going to be picking it, Sean? Holly. What are we watching next week, Holly? Next week, 
We're going to take a trip to the jungle and watch Anaconda. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's so much There's to so unpack. many people in Anaconda. <laughs> There's yes. a lot to talk about. All right. Wonderful. There's one scene I want to talk about in that movie. That's it. <laughs> Is it the waterfalls? Scene? No, no. There's, there's one moment I want to talk about in that movie. So okay, we'll we're all going to different moments, week? I yeah. think. Because yeah. I'm like, yeah. John all right. Boyd. Yep. So, <laughs> oh, God. that's Anaconda next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show right here. And until then, the basement is going dark.